what is going on guys happy rainy tuesday this is legitimately what it looks like right there pouring rain absolutely pouring rain hope you guys are doing well welcome aboard everybody welcome truly welcome welcome another day another awesome flight another awesome night to sit back relax and just hang out with y'all so we got some flying if you guys aren't doing anything you have some time to kick it you have a sim available to you i personally invite you load up we're doing um chicago to Chica <laughs> chicago charlotte to chicago back home to uh washington so hopefully you guys can if not i've got a hundred i think what is it, 170 seats available for you guys so feel free load up here's a cool thing um so y'all know i work at the airport right i have a photo um and i'll share it with you in a little bit i have a photo of a max at the same gate like i mean so my photo is that so remember this photo remember this we'll do that we'll take a photo take a little screenshot of it here so remember that i have this real life photo um, i have one kind of like that of the winglet so there it is hopefully you guys are been doing well um so without further ado let's jump in last crew has us in a turnaround state let me meet y'all at the door uh we'll open that perfect feel free on your way in grab a snack grab a drink uh the jet bridge whoever drove this jet bridge definitely has got some explaining to do um they put it right through the plane so hmm. anyways my man porter what's going on sir hopefully you are doing well chase welcome aboard gentlemen i do apologize we were gonna fly to dallas i literally loaded up that's like part of my uh routine on the you know right before i go live load up into the airports i'm flying into making sure everything is well scenery was flat don't know what i did don't know what i didn't do more importantly but it was flat so didn't want to fly all that way to have you guys see something flat so had to change it up on the fly so here we go brandon what's going on boss how are you plane spot in your backyard nice wait waiting on a southwest is it a special southwest or just one anyone but nonetheless man that's awesome welcome aboard my man aviation geek what's going on dude it's raining here as well i seen your comment earlier pouring rain i took skylar for some ice cream it's like we went swimming to get it oh boy friends what's going on dude how are you what's going on man hopefully you're feeling better dude hopefully you're feeling better my man kevin thomas sir yes let's ride let's ride let's roll loading into charlotte now perfect 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 my man don how are you sir it, it's it's cat and dogs outside right now dude it's cat and dogs man showtime what's going on boss it is show time welcome aboard sir welcome welcome uh who do we have captain henry yeah I, I don't i don't know what it is like i've tried everything in my simplistic brain right uh to get the engines to the proper colors i can't figure it out um so i guess we'll just have to stick with these white engines unfortunately you know you know the wrap that the max has um throughout the community i don't get involved with it but 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 um it needs some more love right there it, it could use some more love especially with these white engines but uh nonetheless we're gonna fly it we're gonna have fun welcome aboard henrietta i hope i'm mcclay henrietta mcclay if i'm saying that wrong forgive me um i truly apologize but nonetheless welcome aboard i am so glad you're here hopefully you are doing well there we go uh jet kid what's going on boss man how are you tonight welcome aboard welcome welcome the man himself mr captain nate infinite flight gentlemen welcome aboard gate a12 is your gate if you were at a12 i invite you to board welcome aboard the man himself drew we got cookies yes sir yes sir i have to update the list uh warden just told me they have a new list so yes we'll get that going the weather is nasty you're maxed still at this point i'm almost thinking it might be a uh because you're on Mac, so it might be, uh, oh, you're, well, I don't know. If it's yours and his, I don't know. Uh, did an arrival into Charlotte, didn't see anything. Ooh. Yeah, that's, yuck. Got to restart your limit. Oh, black screen. Oh, no. Well, sometimes, it, here's a trick. Wiggle your, your pedals, your yoke. It kind of, like, wakes the sim up. Um, I've done that, and it saved my black screen. Um, but without further ado, guys, let's actually go um we have wi-fi we're in the max so uh yeah you could have jump seat bro absolutely we'll get some safety brief we'll go american airlines on these fools right Bow. 
Let, here, let's do this. I want to I want to hear the music. I've never listened to the music, so we'll pause our tunes and we'll see what these ones are. Uh, so we'll do that. We are ready to what? Um, uh, previous oh zero. We'll say thirty minutes. Thirty minutes and we'll be out of here. Fully loaded. There we go. Perfect. 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 Uh, is this the new version? Um, it's the newest one they have. And that update, they corrected the max livery, including the engine colors. Um, it's like 5, I know it's 5 point something. I don't know if it's 5.1.1, but I do know it's 5.1 something. Um, but thank you for telling me that. I definitely, definitely will take a look after the stream. Um, maybe on the next leg we'll fly um, a non-max. We might fly the, the Zebo or the level up, you know, the NG version. Infinite, what's going on, big dog? Use experimental. I think I do. I think. Gary, what's going on, sir? Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, help the video. I will try first thing. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, here we go. Let's do this. Um, we do have some ATC. The lovely folks here at Charlotte, we have ground and approach on, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's get the ATIS. We'll listen to it this time. Here. We'll come down here. It's 32-1. So, we'll dial in uh, 32 one. We'll listen to it. Your cloud at 600. Feeling 4,600 rope. 10,000 over 10. Temperature 17. 2.16. No temperature 2,965. Simultaneous departure of the new. Expect runway 18 center. Runway 18 left. Simultaneous approach of the new. Expect ILS approach 18 left. Center. Okay. Well, if we can get the center, that'd be great. Um, if you go to the tablet and click the little top corner, let's... I have 5.1, so I believe I have just the original, not 5.1.1. Thank you for that. I had no idea. Like, that's actually really cool. Thank you. So, let me go find 5.1 point one after and then hopefully the engines will be fixed so we'll do that we, we have that Center 18. Uh, yeah, perfect. Ground, Mattis 2282, can they change the. Vo I'm telling you. Like, that's what I'm saying. Mattias, what's going on, sir? Mateus, I am sorry. Mateus, welcome aboard. Yes, sir. No problem. Verge 6. Yes, yes. That's what I've heard. I, I cannot wait. John, no, this is the max, boss man. This is the max. Oh, I think approach just got off. They definitely did. Ground, good evening. UP, or American 689 with Hotel Special. Like to pick up IFR up to Chicago, please. American 689, show us ground. You are clear to the Chicago Airport. Georgia for departure. Do transition set and file. Maintain 8,000. Expect flight level 360. One German taxi departure. Departure frequency just went offline. So we use COM 1. All right, so we're cleared to the Chicago O'Hare Airport. The the JoJo for uh, Dodge Transition that is filed. Uh, we'll climb to eight thousand three six zero and ten. Departure is Unicom sixty three thirty five for American six eighty nine. American six eighty nine, reback correct. Push on risk. Expect one eight center. All right, push on us, call for taxi, 1-8 Center, American uh, 689. Perfect. Got it. Let's roll, shall we? The Zebo, love that. Point. Definitely love it. Which version? I'm using 5.1. 5.1 is the one I'm rocking. All right, so we'll go here. That's our seven-minute timer. We'll come up here. Um, 
all the rest is, is good. So we'll, we'll go down here. We'll get right to it. Uh, we're going to start programming the FMC here. So we'll go KC. Uh, L, I almost put CTL. CLT. That's fine. Uh, out of Charlotte, we're going to head to beautiful Chicago. ORD. Hopefully, the weather is nice. Hopefully, we get that approach where you kind of come over the city. Ooh, man. Um, but for now, we got to get out of Charlotte. K O R uh, O R D. We'll put in 01. That's our company route. Uh, U or A A L eight no, six eight nine. I'm telling you, if I had a if my brain was a bird, it'd fly north for winter. Promise you that. One eight center. Um, act no no here. The JoJo four. Dodge transition off of one eight center. Then it's filed. Um, we'll come to here. This is where I have to take a peek at Simbrief. Simbrief says what? The Vic Vec? I, I don't know how to say it. This one. From Bonnet. And 10 left. I will take it from there. Gibbons. So we'll go here. Um, route. Let me just roll through it. Next page. Lindbergh, Lindberg, 3410. Charlotte you Activate that. Income. Basically, One, I just want to make sure there was no discounts, no which there's not. Uh, for that and perfect. No um, cool. We have all that. Thank Let's start adding our people and gas. So if we come over here, to we'll start the flight. We'll do this. Whoops. Dag on it. I just seen a back arrow. Like. I literally looked at this back arrow and said, all right, let's go back. No. Payload. Um, tonight we are expecting how much? How heavy are you guys packing? Um, 42,200 pounds. You guys hate me. 42.2. Because if this was, if I was on the ramp right now, easily, easily, I'm saying like 140 bags. You know how horrible that, that, oh, 140 bags. I had a Salt Lake flight um, Sunday. 227 bags came off. Not fun. <laughs> Not fun, man. Um, gas. 21, 22. We'll, we'll call it even 22. Perfect. And we'll go here. We'll call that truck. Perfect. We are landing east. Uh, east. Okay. So what would what would you recommend? Because I know there is like 50,000 different runways. Shaq, you have a problem illuminate the cockpits? No, I don't. I don't. Um, am I taking Echo? More than likely. So what I see at work, um, they normally go here. I believe this is Echo 14 right here. So we'll, it depends. Like if they're taking 1-8 center, uh, normally I see them push straight back. They'll taxi out Echo. Uh, maybe this is Foxtrot, but this is nonetheless, this is Echo 14. And then they go right up the way to the runway. That that's how I see him. So if he'll allow it, that's what I'll do. Um, yeah, my back was hurting like no tomorrow, no tomorrow. Those are the flights where I try to get out of, out of the bin. No, it's it's not it's not all bags. No, they're calculating the people, um, like all of the stuff that makes up a flight. So what flight frames am I getting right now? So I'm getting about 30, 35 inside, and about 40 outside. Um, that's with running the sim at high and X Enviro. So if I turn off X Enviro or turn the settings down, I probably get a, I don't know, 50, 60. 10C, all right, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Steven, what's going on, big boss? How are you? Welcome, welcome aboard. Uh, let's go this way. Come back over. Uh, here. We don't need, we have to wait a little bit because this this is gonna keep going up so it'll throw all of our numbers off. Yeah, dude, DJ, I'm telling you, bro, like that that ramp life. <laughs> it's not fun. Yeah, no, it's definitely not. All, so you know, it's not all bags. It's probably the mix of of. 
hundred some odd passengers, the catering, and you know the, the six carts of, of hell that they throw at us. So I, yeah, well, I go, I'm in take an Echo Foxtrot 14. Perfect. So I will follow. I will. You're not online, but I will probably doing. Um, well, from what I've been hearing, the same, uh, the same as you. So I'm using light mode. I have no idea what that is. So, with that being said, let's come down here. Uh, we'll do. Cool. 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 Just making sure all these, these will light up. Um, good. Normal. Um, down near. The cool. Uh, All right. Wonderful. So we just have to wait a minute. Uh, let the rest of this load up. But now would be a. Uh, you'll be behind me. Perfect. What? Uh, here. There it is. He beat me to it. Um, so let's get a little pre-flight checklist going here. Pre-flight checklist. Interior, exterior inspection is complete. Circuit breakers are checked. Nav and display switches, right here. Normal. Auto. Um, press for his passenger signs. He just said we were done, so we'll go get those on. Uh, window heat, we'll turn that on now. Uh, engine bleed switches are both on. Pressurization panel. Pressurization mode select. Uh, right here, auto. Uh, MCP. We'll set that now. We just didn't have our numbers, so I couldn't I couldn't set it fully. So I just waited till the end. Uh, oxygen mask. Altimeters. Two nine six five. Two nine six five cross check. Um, let's see. Flight nav instrument. So basically, we're looking for nothing up top, no speeds because we don't have our numbers. That is check. Warning annunciator lights. That would have been. That. And we'll go up as well. Check speed brake. Down. Uh, Takeoff warning. Check and close. Engine start switches are cut off. Stab trim. Cut out switch. Normal. Important on the max. Uh, fire warning. We checked that. Radio and transponder is set. Radar is off. Uh, rudder and trim is zero and free. Parking brake is set. Windows closed and locked. Flight attendant briefing. Um, they are not done boarding, so we'll hold off on that as well. Departure. We'll go over that. Uh, the logbook. Heck, it's on board. And fuel required is <coughs> excuse me 18.8 uh, we have 21.8 on board pre-flight checklist complete done um, let's come up here that's good we'll start the APU so we'll go there this light should come on one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi cool bags trucks people go you said rip <laughs> stream labs is not active is it not hold on Try it now. Try it now. Maybe maybe it'll work better now. Hopefully it will. I just restarted the page, so hopefully, maybe. Um, other than that, we, I, me, you, if you guys are ready, we'll start closing up the old ship here. Button down the hatches. One, two. This one, that one, that one. I don't need that. Um, APU starting up. Doors are getting closed other than that one. And that one. Uh, this one, this one. Sweet. All right, cool. Uh, give us just about another minute or two. We'll check on no EGT. Um, it'll be if I flip on the. It's down here. There. I just didn't have the. I didn't press the button um, to show the whole the whole display. Like you know how normally on the NG it's right down here. 
You can have it up here, but I personally like it down here. Um, it's right there. Bro, after a long, boring day, death by PowerPoint recurrent training. Ooh. Now have all the B states. There you go. <laughs> I I won't I won't say a word. Is it pouring like this? This actually is lighter than what it's doing on my back balcony. Um, right now on my back balcony, I can see the raindrops bouncing off of the wood. Yeah, it's 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 pouring cats and dogs. Uh, yes, I do. Feel free to add me. Um, that's the name. Shaquille Oatmeal. Feel free to add me, boss. This is my... Alright, so since we're... Whoops, hold on. Since we're looking at it, this is my my routes. <laughs> this is all that I have done. we got to spend some more time in Africa and South America. What do you think? Mexico, too. Everywhere but the States is where we need to spend more time. Perfect. So, we'll go here. We'll call the pushback. Ground to cockpit. Ground to cockpit. You are driving, driving up. Thank you. How did I do that? Um, are you are you really though? No. Now go away. Okay. All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. see we'll see if it does that um put these on go here perfect is there an installer for this max 8 or is it just the google down the way just just the google from all that i because it's it like um you have to use an older version of the the zebo so i think i think um the uh the updater that comes with the zebo you know, it keeps you up to date. So I don't think it would go Token that far back. And bypass so I'm, I'm almost certain it's, it's, just, it's just the Google way. Um, but we'll, we'll double check that. 8,000 um, numbers were received. So let's actually do that. 18.7. Uh, we're going to throw in 3 point, oops, eight. It's there. 55 set three six zero cruise weights are two four two five six uh, five there Flaps 5 for this departure, so that gives us 38, 40, and 50. We'll throw that in. Five point seven five. We'll put 150 right here. Now we can turn you on. So that MCP part that I was saying that wasn't done, it's now completed. Um, we'll get our gas. Um, there is some here, so we'll go there. Uh, we'll get this on because this is what we'll need for a pushback checklist. We'll go. There. All right. And this right here. I don't know what they've got going on in the back, but it doesn't sound like they're boarding. But we've got to get out of here. I have an immaculate odd time departure, so they need to hurry up. I don't know how you haven't driven away yet. Departure. Um. Departure frequency offline. Squawk six three three four. I don't know. Anyways, uh, pushback. Okay. 
Doors are closed. Hydraulic panel. Set. Fuel panel. Set. Uh, flight deck door is closed and locked. And uh, auto brakes. RTO recall is uh, this one. So if we do that, we should be all right. All right, push back start checklist complete. We'll throw that out of here. Um, we have nothing left but to do it. Here we go. Starting pushback, and you may start perfect. engine. Uh, starting APU, you're 435. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I tried to update to Zebo. Uh, had nothing but front dashboard, no body. Huh, that's weird. Me, personally, that's why I've always... Uh, well, I've not always, but... I've, I've tried that updater once. Kind of gave me the same runaround. Um, so what I have done ever since then was Chicago. update it myself. Time will be roughly two hours. Now that the cabin door is closed, please make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your large devices are now shut down and stowed. Please fasten your seatbelt and make sure that all tray tables and seat backs are in a full upright and locked position they for departure. Cabin the... crew, prepare cabin for departure. Oh yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Southpaw, what's going on, big boss? How are you? Welcome aboard. Hopefully all is well, sir. Alright, let's get this puppy started. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the screen for an important safety demonstration. Thank you for flying with us. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your attention. It's time to get you ready Wait, for takeoff. This one actually says max motor, which have is pretty lots cool. Of choices. Um, I was so I was told, not that I'm like rated or We're anything, but I was to told that the real bird said there now it is. Just follow along with motor. Me. We'll be on our way. So that's pretty cool. Welcome aboard. Before we depart, here are some important safety instructions. Let me first drop this first, photo. First, let's buckle those into, belts. Uh, Insert the metal end into here. the buckle and pull the strap to tighten. You guys can see, you guys can see the comparison on the top that I have. Um, and remember, seatbelt should be fastened whenever you're seated, just in case of unexpected turbulence. To get us on our way, make sure your seat is up, all electronic devices are put away, and your tray table is stowed. If you have a carry-on, push it all the way under the seat in front of you. If it won't fit, place it in the overhead bin. If you have a handheld device, Aha, please switch it, it to airplane mode uh, now. This one. You'll find our full Operation complete. Go ahead and set the, the parking brake. U.S. law it prohibits smoking, including electronic cigarettes, one. at any time. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying smoke detectors in the laboratories yeah, may result in a fine. Uh, U.S. law go. requires all to comply with Where lighted and posted go? signs and crew member instructions. Now let's review the safety card. Please pay close attention, and before you know it, we'll be off. All exits on this airplane are clearly marked. So here they are. They're Take up a moment over there. to locate the nearest one. Mini Keep yes, in mind, sweet. it may be behind you. So, uh oh. <laughs> I'm always up to. I'm always doing something. It just depends that something is good. Do I use lib librium? Um, on when this one, it gives me the option the for X and Viro, so I, I use that feature. Some slides uh, may also be used as I don't know what it does. So keep in mind. Those, those two mental photos I said, right? I said, the remember these the images. So check this exit. out. In the event of an right. evacuation, there she be. escape path There's lighting one. will appear. Follow the lights There's until two. you've reached your exit. Look at Leave that. all carry-ons behind. Just right. head quickly and safely to the Pretty nearest exit. Cool. And don't Max. forget, it may be and just you. like I said, the the body and then there's the winger photo. The so there she be. And I also have this one. Hold on. While remaining seated with your seatbelt fastened, we're hold right down on the mask uh, to extend one, the two. tubing. Or we're doing flat one, so we'll set the flaps. Like so. then slip the band we'll do three things at once. We'll mask stream, mask we'll find a photo, and we'll run some checklists. How about that? So is disconnected and bypass bin has been removed. Can't signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Just, just the window. <laughs> cool. All right, so uh, checklist. Let's roll. Um, we'll come up here. We'll actually perform the task. Like then we'll roll with the list. Put the vest over your head. Wrap the strap around your waist. Right. Attach the buckle uh, and pull tight. Once outside, 
Pull the tab to inflate your vest or blow into After the start, generators on are on. Propane. In the water, a light on, on. your vest will uh, illuminate. Anti-ice is and off. Please, air conditioning fan. Your vest outside the airplane. Set. Uh, now, recall. Now, your seat cushion may be used as a flotation it's device. Checked. Auto brakes. RTO. After start, checklist complete. We just got the, the signal. We'll do flaps five. That'll start our taxi checklist. We'll come down here. After takeoff, we'll be back with more information. So we're doing flaps five. Good thing anything, for a checklist, right? Uh, flaps five. As always, so we have five, great. five, great is what we're green light, for. takeoff speeds, 38, 40, 50, 150 set. Thrust is takeoff. Stab trim is 5.75. Flight controls. Our check. Taxi checklist complete. Let's call. Hey, my man Zato, how are you? Welcome aboard. And the Mister himself, uh, Christoph, how are you, sir? What, Cali, dude, it's been a hot minute. How are you, friend? We're just starting leg one right here. We're off to Chicago, boss man. Good evening, gentlemen. We didn't forget you. Hope you guys are well. American four five runway one eight center. You taxi uh, behind the American. I press uh, something. Ahead of you. Uh, just don't hit him. Uh, taxi one eight interview echo. <laughs> so just don't hit him. All right, taxi behind the plane in front of me via echo United. I mean American four thirty five. Thank you. Ground. Good evening, United six eighty seven. Ready for taxi. Where's that American? Uh, six eighty nine. I'm sorry. Yeah, six eighty nine. We're ready for taxi. American 689, ground runway 18 center, taxi via Echo. 18 center via Echo, American 689. All right, cool. Let's roll. Brakes coming off. We'll add some juice. Get this JoJo 4 up here. Perfect, like so. We've, darn it. Uh, where did you go? Sid. Taxi. that one up uh, that can come on perfect there we go fine here awesome I've uh, been busy currently sitting in Las Vegas Ooh, that seems pretty fun well hopefully you have a blast in Vegas and more importantly hopefully you win that tournament perfect perfect United I know Shh. Shh. All right, we're gonna come out here clear I, I need to get track IR that would be super cool. All right, let's do the uh, before start checklist. We'll kind of go on a slow taxi, make sure we get everything good. MP MCP, yes, sir, it is set. Um, so, before taxi or before takeoff checklist, uh, we're going to be doing this. We'll come down here to RTE 18 center inside. If we look once we get out, or right here, 18 center outside. Uh, flaps are. Here. Let's see it again. American 689, monitor come. 162.8, I show no traffic on uh, final 187. Roger that, thanks. Over to Unicom. Great job tonight. We'll talk to you next time, American 689. Thanks, see ya. Perfect. Uh, this one, so we're doing 5 5 green light. Uh, navigational briefing, so 1 8 center. We'll be on the JoJo 4. Basically, it's just a right, it's a takeoff, you know, runway heading, and then we'll follow the LMAP right, procedure. Um, takeoff warning. That's all is advanced and thrust. If we were going to get a warning, it would have happened. Uh, so that is good. Auto throttle can come on. Oops, not the checklist. Auto throttle. Uh, we'll go engine start switches to continuous. Transponder will now go to on and flight attendants brief before takeoff checklist complete I'm actually going to do weather as well not sure if this one is, is modeled but we're going to use it if we've got it um, hopefully it will work we'll get our lights on we'll, we'll hold short as well switch over are you able to receive and those are good perfect 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 uh, one last quick check right behind me. Perfect. What are your thoughts on a rotate MD11? Yeah, it's, uh, it's all right. It's all right.
that's all right. We're off to Chicago. Perfect. Uh, TCAS, that's part of the before start checklist. So, I've got you. Definitely got you, boss man. Uh, I don't know what I clicked, so I'm not gonna. Ex I'm not just gonna accept it. We'll go here. There. And perfect. So, all over to Chicago. Let's roll, shall we? We'll do that. We'll go. Central aircraft uh, is information in the now current wind one two zero one six gust two two. Uh, Broken, That's weird. Six, five. Apparently my auto throttle kicked in. Good, good thing my brakes right, were on. Check, Holy uh, crap! Five, that would have sucked. Roger, that's VCN, Up. I just gotta get level with the, or not level, I gotta get the uh, frequency here. And then we'll, we'll boogie on out if you guys are cool with that. It's not raining anymore. It's not raining in the sim, so that's pretty cool. Uh, 1, I just wanna see where this person's going. Oh, cool. Alright, let's roll. Here we go, ready? Spool them up. Sounds good. Looks good. Let's roll. Eighty knots. Check. Wait for 400. We'll hear that call out. Four hundred. There it is. Perfect. We'll go heading for now. One thousand. We'll do that. We'll go here. Bug up to 10, and we'll just go like so. Start flying those flight directors. Once we make it around the turn, we'll get to the after start or after takeoff. Charlie Traffic, this is American 435 departing on runway 187. Flaps one. Drop the nose just a bit. But we're gaining speed, like legitimately. Oh well. Speed us up 250, we'll go off, whoop, off, the rain's back, I guess. Uh, we'll get you, you're good, there, there, APU can now get shut off. I just wanted it on because of the, the nasty weather. We'll take the, the performance. What I should have done was turn the packs off, though. That, that's what I should have done. We'll go here, and we'll pull out the chart. So, after start... Or excuse me, after takeoff checklist, sorry. After takeoff checklist, flaps up, landing gear, or up, packs are auto. Uh, engine bleeds are off. 
uh, what's pressurization panel should start to be coming around like so just like that slowly but surely it is climbing uh, it is checked and start switches are as required APU is off after takeoff check is complete do I use a side uh, no I use a side stick um, I have the Airbus side stick for um, for Airbus planes Yipper, I have been invited to a party, it says, on here. Why not? Let's roll. We have a friend request. We've got... There. Perfect, perfect. He said, uh-oh, you're behind me? Don't worry, we'll pick up as much speed as we can. And we're out of here. Let me know when you're... Oh, sorry, I did. <laughs> uh, Boeing is a wonderful aircraft because of the yoke. You can really feel that uh, you're turning a plane. That is true. Directing why... Wyatt's, so we'll go here. Yeah, it's the same with me, but we're climbing pretty quick, so I'll make a call. Show traffic, uh, American, traffic, traffic. 689, we're direct Wyatt's climbing uh, 360, Charlotte traffic. With that, we'll use speed, or altitude intervene, like so. And that should keep us keep us on boogie, and hopefully we don't don't cause a mess. Three, six. Do I use side stick? Uh, no, I don't. I use. Wow. Um, I use the yoke for Boeing. Any anything yoke related, so like CRJ, MD11, 300. I use the yoke, and then for Airbus, I use the As side reminder, stick, so I got the Airbus side stick, and then over here, it's not on my desk, but over there I also have the, uh, the throttles. On board Wi-Fi, you will be required to pay a small fee if you wish to access it. We do offer complimentary I have the throttles too. to our so. partners. Connect to the Wi-Fi, yeah, and you'll so be able that's to what access our Wi-Fi for the free uh, TV and yeah. movie library. What's altitude, altitude intervene? So it's, um, what's the easiest way to say it? Uh, it's where the, the computers, the, the FMC, basically it, it uses the computers to um, get the altitude going. So I can climb, press that. So say instead of coming off of LNAV or off of um, vertical speed, click that and it would do it for you. What you have set, so I have LNAV set, LNAV VNAV set, I would click that, it would climb via that. If I was using vertical speed and I clicked altitude intervene, it would, it would tell the computers to climb via the um, vertical speed I have set. So the wing length has come up here, it looks to be a smooth ride, so we'll do that. Use side stick for Boeing, I used to as well. Hey, I used to use the, what is it called? Um, it was like the 3D Pro, something along those lines, Logitech. It was literally 25 bucks. Um, I used that for for years. Like I mean, years. I've probably got I've probably got thousands of hours in that plane. Um, or with that yoke, stick, side stick, joystick, whatever you want to call it. I have thousands of hours. And then I got the TCA, or no, I got the um, Thrustmaster pack, like the 1600. So you get the the yoke, or the side stick again, the joystick, I should say, the throttles and the pedals. I got that for like 200 bucks or something like that. And then as I started streaming, um, I got the honeycomb. Um, the warden actually got me the, the throttles, uh, the Airbus, and then another person I was gifted the, uh, the side stick. So started all piecing it together, and now I have, I've got quite the setup. Um, and coming soon, um, I'm gonna, I'm having an MCP build. So one of my buddies has a printer, um, and he's like an engineering guru, and he's gonna build me an M uh, MCP. So I have to find a way to put it here with a camera so you guys can see that um, and then yeah I'll have I'll legitimately have almost a whole setup <laughs> um, but yeah that's that's the plan 
Uh, it's beautiful. Yes, it is. Yeah, we were we were turning pretty good on that turn there. Yeah, it was the Extreme 3D Pro is what I had. Yep, 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 yep. Um, see on my TCAST, I probably can't see you because you're behind me. But I'll trust and believe that you're there. How about that? I will believe that you're there. Um, let's do this. Let me come back to here. I want to see if there's ATC at all on the way in. Nope. Zilch, none. Legitimately zilch. If anybody, if anybody knows some ATC in Chicago, get them on the horn. Yes, get them on the horn. Tell them, hey, there's some folks coming in. We would love some traffic. So that, that's that, that's what I would do. If you know them. There. Turn the music up just a smidge. St. Elmo Fire. What's that? St. Elmo Elmo? Is that near you? Hopefully not. Hopefully you don't have a fire. Atlanta 1682. You're doing uh, Charlotte to Orlando. Airbus? Airbus or um, 73? Airbus or 73? Yeah. So Gary, how is your how is your flight thus far? Let me see if I can. I think I think I might be able to see you. Uh, nope, that's 4:35. That is six. That's me. Um, I don't know. I don't. Oh, that's because you use sim tool, bro. Did the casino take the day off? Hold on. Let me let me go holler at this with them. Um, 18,000 will come here. Climb checklist is just standard. There. I don't know why it would do that. Hopefully center. That would be cool if we had some center get on. Went blue for a second. Thought the. Oh, okay. Gotcha. 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 Um, here. Let me try. Dashboard and voila. Hopefully that works. Does anybody have a good idea of quality rudder pedals? I have a side tech. Yeah, I need some new ones too. So if anybody's got an idea, please let me know. Uh, the the MG. What's that one? The MG seven eight oh 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 Magnite sorry <laughs> sorry the seven eight eight let me know let me know just got uh, Chicago they just called me they have no power just like in the movie Die Hard two oh boy yeah fly nine <laughs> fly ninety miles let's roll let's roll give me a second here I got I just heard my other fans kick out on the computer so I got to uh, to open my window hold on. much better. My feet were, like my legs and feet were starting to heat up. I was like, uh, hello. Um, no, it looks like Nightbot or sh whatever his name is, sh Streamlabs took the day off. Uh, points? Your speed is decreasing slowly? Um, what plane are you in? Try, are you using LNAV and VNAV? If not, because if you have like, um, once you get past a certain level, you'll be in the box. So you'll be in a Mach number. So like, for example, like 280 is like super, well, or not to like 250, you'll be like very slow. Went from two, you went from 240 and it's going down. Um, you have, you have your speed on. Zuby, what's going on boss? How are you? Is your N1? Because you should be flying to 738, right? So is your speed on? Maybe disconnect your uh, disconnect your auto throttle. Let it rip. Uh, get the plane under control, and then try it again. But don't don't let it get too low that you start falling out the sky. Oh, you there it is. VNAV turned off. Chicken, what's going on, big boss? Keeping distance from you. I'm at uh, waypoint wides. Waves. Give me space. Perfect. 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 That's why we have 
that right there, gentlemen, is why we are all, all, 100%, uh, what's the proper term? Authorized flight, flight instructors in the sim. Not in real life, in the sim. If you are one in the real world, more power to you. In the sim, we're all first officers, flight instructors. Heck, you can be a captain for all I care. Just have fun. Antonio, what's going on, big boss? You, this is your favorite plane? Sweet. Uh, did I get a Razor Black Shark? Headphones? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, I did. I needed a wired pair. Because um, the wireless one, I just couldn't get the sound right. Um, but yes, the, they're actually really nice. I like them. I don't care how... Without getting into it, like, can't steal free. Um, I'm just here to sim, you know, I care less. Like, I like the airplane. I'm thankful that somebody took their time, efforts, put it into the free community. That's all I know. It's really all I care about. <laughs> so, yeah, dude, I, I enjoy it. I love the plane. It's fun when I'm really looking forward to uh, version six. That'll be fun, especially with that, that beautiful heads up display they got. Ooh. Oof. United 914. Let's see if I can. I don't think Volanta shows. It's 1037. 435. That's me. That's my man Chase. That's somebody else. So what? I don't. Yeah, I don't think it will show others. Um, like not. Not, like non volanta or network people. But hey, it's okay. You know, right? The flight is the flight. I'll just imagine you somewhere in these beautiful virtual blue skies. How about that? How about that? There. Come. There. Two hours left. Ooh, nice. Where are you going? There's tons of room for politics elsewhere. That's right. We just hang out. That's literally all we do. We sit back, relax. I, I hope you guys have a good time. I darn know I have a good time. Um, and we just fly. You know, that's it. What do you think of the MB-11? Uh, same thing. It's a love-hate relationship. Love the plane, hate how it acts. It's like, um, it's like, it's like your brother, right? If you have a younger brother or sibling, and they're just like little monsters, uh, I hate when they're monsters, but I love my sibling to death. For me, it's my daughter. I hate when she's a monster, but I love my daughter to death. Uh, that's like me and the the, the uh, me and the MD-11. Love the plane. Looks good with the update. Even sounds pretty darn good. Um, I just hate the the stupid things that it does. Treat the chat like a bar. That's right. That is right. John, what's going on, big boss? How are you? My man, how hopefully all is well. Front part of July, I'm flying uh, out of Portland, Oregon. Ooh, really? 739 on way out, not sure. Hmm. 739, you say? Okay. You're at top of climb? Perfect, perfect, perfect. You're getting a new car soon? Ooh, what kind? What kind, if you don't mind me asking? I am at 26, so you have absolutely climbed out of here like a homesick angel. Um, maybe I'll see you? Probably overtaking me too. No, but oof, look at that. Look at that. John, hopefully all is well, my friend. It's been a minute, um, but that's okay. Life, you know, as the world starts to open back up, as we overcome the problems of the pandemic, hopefully all is well. I know, dude. Streamlabs is, must have taken a day off. Do I use any sound packs for the Max A? Infinite, I do not, big boss. No, sir. Um, I use nothing. Literally nothing. Sorry. I, I know you asked that, and I do apologize for uh, not not answering it. Um, no, I, I don't. This is just plain Jane. You're doing... Our goodness. Now read it to Sydney. All right, what's the call sign? I'll take a look-see. You can set uh, to show planes on all platforms. Volanta, Pilot Edge, and IVAO. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Yo, Drew, that is buck wild. Oh, Drew. Well, I'm thinking about it right now. I am so sorry. Hold on. Uh, smart. Hold on. Drew, right here. Grab this. Um, 
I know I said the other day I was going to get it to you. My bad. Uh, this right here. This is what you need. The M8. Goodness. I'm going to have to see a photo of that. Daniel, what's going on, big boss? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Do I have any favorite routes from the VA? Any new places it's taken you? No. Um, Cyan, what's going on, boss? Got it Monday? Goodness. Goodness. Um, and, I, and I don't say that in a bad way. Like, oh, the VA is just not that good. It's just... I mean, I have flown simulators for maybe 10 years, maybe, if not longer. Um, so there, there's not many places uh, that I haven't gone in the sim. There, there's many places I haven't gone in stream, like, like on the stream. Um, but as far as just flying in the simulator, I've, I've gone a lot. Uh, like you could see just, just from my, ec or excuse me, my Volanta app, like check this out so these these are all my flights right so I have all of these over here you know, I've come over this way some more so I mean that's just on Volanta like even before this I mean the years that I had 2022 Corolla hybrid Ooh, okay okay what color what color so yeah, I, I've gone a lot of places. There's probably some places I should visit more. South America, to be exact. Africa, you know. Definitely should go over there. Asia, we could spend a lot more time in. But those are places, like, prior to me using Volanta, I have I have attacked. Like, I attacked South America in full force um, in X-Plane 10. Same with, um, like, Mexico and all those other places. I've attacked those full force. Uh, even in X-Plane 11, prior to using Volanta, but yeah, I've, I've been there, done that, got that t-shirt, <laughs> so I just use um, American as a, a kind of a career journey, right, so having friends who are pilots, um, working at the airport, I pick pilots' brains every day, like legitimately, on the bus, going to lunch, at the, uh, anywhere, anywhere I can, I talk to a pilot, so I try to take what they show me, tell me, talk to me about, and put that in in the simulator for all of us who, you know, maybe one, you just won't ever be a pilot, you know, maybe you're a career elsewhere, maybe you don't want to, anything, you know, whatever the case may be, um, and I try to put that out there for the world to see, so this is why it's called Let's Play Pilot, like, I'm not type rated, no, not even in the least bit. But I have enough information that we can get there. Um, we c we can simulate, hopefully simulate, what it looks like. Uh, why don't you use enhanced skyscapes? Uh, because enhanced skyscapes is just a visual add-on, so it doesn't simulate weather. Um, so I use this for all of the the wet, all the extra. So you know, if it's snowing, if it's raining, uh, the gust, the fog, all of that stuff. That, that's why I use it. Um, wow, it's a white, ooh, white with black interior. I will definitely need a picture of that one, dude. That is a wicked cool one. Uh, my main man, Wash. Salute, sir. How are you? How's the missus? Hopefully all is well. Did you get some furniture yet, bro? That's the main question. Did you get some daggone furniture or are we still chilling in lawn chairs? Because, I mean, nonetheless, I'll chill anyway. But I, I do want to see some... Uh, I do want to see some some furniture it's always fun to add realism yeah yeah definitely a new aspect that that's the thing oh yeah Shaq, uh, did you sleep while the plane flew while the plane wait did you just sleep while the, fly the plane to Miami before I have yeah like last night I fell asleep uh, while flying um, luckily I, I remembered to put it on pause before top of descent or else we would have been I don't even know where Using Active Sky, your clouds aren't showing. Uh oh, that's not. Um, then why not Active Sky plus and plus enhanced skyscapes? Because I have this. Like, you know, I, I have this that does it just fine. You know, like, I, why? Like, if I have something that's gonna do the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like saying, all right, well, I have a car, so let me go buy another car. Why? You know, like, I, if if I just wanted it, cool. But, like, I already have it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a pen, so why do I need to go buy another pen? This one writes just fine. Um, 
that's all. Like, I, I don't have anything against it. I just like what, what I've got. Um, getting weather and winds, but no clouds. That's weird. Real weird. Got some only waiting on the couches. Well, heck, bro. That's that's better than nothing, right? So as long as them couches come in, heck, maybe they'll... Uh, what's the next big event? <laughs> maybe they'll get there by 4th of July. There we go. My man, Rock City. Sir, how are you? Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully all is well. Um, the family on my end is well. Uh, girls are growing. Skylar's acting like a menace. Um, Warden's keeping me on my toes. So all is well. Can't complain. Don't know many who would listen. But all is well. Um, France said... What? Uh, I'm begging my dad. Th is... Oh. I'm going to have to look that car up. Copy. Paste. Images. Okay, that's a nice car. Nice little SUV, like a crossover type. Yeah. Okay. Shoot. I like that. Very nice. Hopefully he pulls the trigger on that one, big dog. What happens when you lose the pen? I get angry. Very angry. Funny thing is, is my friend who was actually a pilot, he gave me this pen because he sent me a picture of him in his uniform. And he had his, his his pen. You know how they have their little pen poking out? And I said, daggone, dude. That is a nice pen. Like, I have a pen fetish. Like, I, I legitimately have a pen fetish. Um, so I see that. I said, don't you ever come around me with those pens. Because you will go home with one less pen. I promise you. I said, I, I'll, I'll still be your friend. But you'll have one less pen. Ooh, bars. Rap. I should be a rapper. Daggone. So he came to Charlotte. We went out to dinner, and he gifted me the, a pen, like brand spanking new. So this pen, every night, it goes to the same spot. Like, I will put it on the same spot. If it's even one smidge out of place, somebody's hearing about it. I don't lose pens. Uh, I just have to hope the dealership doesn't super lowball my dad and trade in an essential... Uh, on the trade-in assessment, which happens on the 15th. Hopefully he don't. Well, they don't. Because they tried to do that to us when we got our when we got our new car. Uh, we got a 2022 Honda Pilot. So when they they um, we traded in a 20 2019 Jeep, and they tried to lowball the mess out of us. I said honestly, bro, if you're gonna if you're gonna leave that number on the table, I will take this to CarMax. I will get my money, and I will go I will go to a different Honda dealer with that money, just so you don't get your just so you don't get the sale like try me and they came back with the proper price and we walked out with our vehicle <laughs> we're trading in the 2015 Subaru Ooh, nice Subi the good old Subis man dude a Subaru most of them those in Honda Civics it seems like you'll die before those cars die that's what it seems like make sure I didn't miss anything I'm getting oh read that one what are my settings for X and Viro uh, so what I do for for streaming only um, is I turn my settings down. Um, settings. So when I'm not streaming, these are all on medium. But because I stream and sim on the same computer, it kind of like hurts my my computer. So I turn these to low. But on normal, like on average, these are all like every single one of them are like this. And then that's that's how I have it the rest of the you know all the time but just just for streaming because um, like i said if i had another computer to actually stream off of i would keep it as is but i noticed that my computer runs pretty hot like with these up uh low is just fine it still looks good gets the job done so i i keep it at that yeah that's 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 just me it works for me um it provides good well good frames and my computer runs fine so you know I, I've, I've legitimately looked at the like the temperatures of the computer and that was one thing that spiked up like 10 15 degrees was trying to render in all that stuff Ooh, WRX Ooh, there you go still hell yeah it'll stand strong like I said you'll probably be in a power chair before that thing gets uh becomes off the road like I got friends who legitimately like and it's not like oh they just have this old rusty busty car like they I think it was like a 2007 07 
Civic. Mm. Heck, it's old, but it runs fine. I mean, it's got like a hundred, almost two hundred thousand miles, and that's it's absolutely wild. It's, it's like, yeah, he's like, I, I have no need to get rid of this car. Scooby, what's going on, big dog? How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, guys, if you are interested, um, I know last stream somebody might have offered it. Um, feel free, if you want to join American Virtual Airlines, here's the link. So check it out. Um, pretty cool airline. Really active group of people. I'm in the Discord as well. Um, so... All right, so they got a Discord. They let me post the stuff here for our stream, hopefully to entice some people to fly with. Um, but yeah, very, very, very active group. Feel free, check them out. Pretty cool. You could fly like the Heritage liveries. So like, you know, America West, US Airways, uh, Chrome Jet, American, like all of them, pretty cool. Are we doing Turnaround State? Um, I will leave that up to you guys. Um, let's, let's do a little poll here, how about that? Um, actually, we will do, yeah, we'll, I'll leave that up to you guys. I'll ask one question now, and then, uh, I'll ask another one in a minute. He said, hour and 40 to go. Man, dude, that's that's a trip. That is a trip. Um, Five-star rating. There you go. Very reliable. Hey, that's really all that matters, right? You know, as long as, as, long as it's going to, you know, not break your family's bank, as long as it's going to keep you all safe and get you from A to B, it's a good car. Right? This is... Uh, This is my car. Uh, right here. So this is what we have right here. This exact car. Same color, like that. Just not the black ribs. So we have the same exact car, just not the black ribs. Um, yeah, that's it. That's what happens when you have a half of a starting five <laughs> I have three out of five for a basketball team. Um, if you add my whole family, we, we could we could run the court. We taking a max? Um, that's if you guys want to. So that was going to be my second question. Um, we'll determine if we're going to go cold and dark or uh, turnaround state. And then we'll have also, if you guys want to do the, the non-max or if you want to do the max, we'll do that. I think on our... What did, what did we come to conclusions with? Because that's that's an important question as well. Um, that's going to go. Man. Let's see. Let's see. Community. So remember this one. You guys, you guys voted it. So we'll do 7-3 on the next one. So we'll do another trip in the 7-3. And then we'll switch over to something else. But uh, yeah. I have an old Toyota from 98. She's still running at 200. Oh my goodness. Sweet looking SUV. Thank you. Why? Thank you. You've got four boys. Dude, I'll, I'll trade you. you want to trade? Come on. You know you want to join that girl dad club. Yes, come on. Thank you for trading your Honda. I'm a Tesla lover and you hate the Honda bumps. No, I, I have a Honda. So I, I, I got the, I traded my Jeep. Well, our Jeep. It wasn't mine. It was our Jeep. Uh, we had a white Jeep Cherokee. Cool little car. You got four boys. Goodness. I, I, I think I'm done with it. the whole children ball game. This, this is crazy. These kids are nuts. Man, I started having kids and I lost my hair. That's another reason why I wear a hat all the time. I had a full head of hair before I had children. Now, like my hairline started to come back a little bit, so I keep the hat on. <laughs> the hat must stay. Let's see about where we are. We're 40 minutes out. That's perfect. Uh, top climbs coming up. Lovely. Let's check on our people. Six sisters. Oh, hey. Oh, lordy. So, Warden, uh, my wife, she has... No, her mom. Her mom is one of 14. She ha Her mom has 14 siblings. And then 
in the whole family, like, so her grandpa has between uh, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and now great-great-grandchildren, over 70. Could you imagine that? Over 70. Oh, yeah, dude, the Jeep for the Honda. Our Honda wouldn't, our, well, put it this way. What I will get back when I go to sell this this Jeep, or excuse me, this Honda, I couldn't, like, the Jeep wouldn't scratch its, wouldn't scratch its tailpipe. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the turnaround value on the Honda that I had compared to the Jeep that I had, leaps and bounds. I can go buy a Jeep. Driving a Volvo S80. Ooh, ooh. I like the Volvo. I really, really like Volvos. Um, let's see. Your wife has a Ford, ooh, a Ford Fiesta. Okay, my, I think if it's the same car I'm thinking about, my wife's brother has one. I'm almost certain. Um, good CLT. It's, it's not great, um, but it's like it's better than the default one. Um, this is the one that I use. Like it, it's still. I mean, it's it's out. It's a little older, but it, it's better than the other one. Oh boy, a hipster, an athlete, and, a, <laughs> and a, oh my goodness. So I have Skylar, who is my tomboy. Like, she is an, absolutely a tomboy. Um, and my twins, well, they're they're seven months old, so I don't know what the heck they'll be like. <laughs> but um, th they're definitely not like me and Skylar. Skylar is my, my little mini me. We do a lot of the same. We'll sit on the couch in her undies. I'll have beer, she'll have milk. And we'll watch cartoons. My my twins, not so much. They don't want to drink their bottle while I drink my beer and watch cartoons. They're just not like that. But they'll cuddle up with their mother all day long. Not me. Yeah, no worries, bro. You don't. Yeah, I hope you don't get no ball too bad easy. It has 130 mile, 130k. Nah, for a Subi, that's like just rough. Like that's literally like just breaking in the engine. You know what I'm saying? You see me in front of you? Uh oh. We gotta keep this power going. Let's see, what are we doing now? Seven nine, 70 knots, punching us on the left-hand side. Oh boy. Yeah, so that's that's just what me and Skylar do. You know, like, she's she's definitely my little top boy. Um, funniest thing is, is she'll pass gas and she'll be like, Daddy, do you smell it? Yeah, I do, and it's awful. Like, she'll be like, ha 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 ha, I farted, Daddy. Oh, thanks, bud. Thanks. Like you're such a little girl. This is the bad cop. Yeah, I'm the. I'm. I'm not e like for me. Cop is not even in my name. Like I'm the good guy. Like, quite honestly, I'm the one that'll help you break the rules. Like me and her, we're always getting in trouble. Always, dude. Like, we'll wake up in the morning. Like, Scally, you want to go eat? Want to go get some cereal? We're not gonna have raisin bran and Cheerios. What are you nuts? No, 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 no. We're going straight for the junk food. Oh yeah. We have to hide it. Sorry. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but that that's my little tomboy. That's that's literally my little tom my tomboy. You're doing uh two fifty eight? Cool. Yeah, that's that's Skylar for you. In a nutshell, that is Skylar. She is my she is my right hand girl. I almost said right hand man. <laughs> take a look at one thing come up here uh yeah i don't need that we'll go to progress top of the sense 285 all right so we got a little do i eat rice i actually just had some for dinner i had uh terry whoop. i had teriyaki chicken with some stir fry well rice and, you know stir fried vegetables absolutely there we go. absolutely now i i, I like there's, I don't like whole, like whole grain rice. I don't like the taste. I like the, uh, I like white rice. 
I like yellow rice. I like Caribbean rice. I like dirty rice. Just don't like whole grain rice. Nope. Bro, the king's ace. What in God's name? How are you, my friend? Dude, I just want to tell you, sir, you know, great job on the streams, bro. Quite honestly, you are knocking it out of the park. I know I haven't been active, but I will say this. I will say this. You keep me you keep me going on my stinking uh my work day. So when you're you're streaming, I will literally just pop on something and I'll let it rip. We'll but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For a small I really appreciate it. Keep up the good cards. work. Guys, if y'all don't know who the King's Ace is, he's another content creator. Uh, he provides the same content I do. You know, very, very, very family like, fun like, you know, same thing. What you see over here is what you see over there. Um, I highly recommend it. Go check him out. But thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, big boss. I appreciate you. He said, uh, I eat rice all the time. Oh, you're dim Okay, yeah, you definitely eat some rice. Definitely, <laughs> definitely eat some rice, man. I, I just love rice. Like, I think it's delicious, but more than rice, you know what I really like? Noodles. Oh, noodles. King has landed. That's right. That is right. Yeah, y'all gotta go check him out. Wildkid said the dealer we're going through has a pretty good reputation, though, so I doubt the will lose. Good. Yeah, I mean, and especially, you know, now that how much we, the world, especially, you know, living in a first world, we um, we rely on the internet. That, that, that one bad Google review will, like, if they ticked you off, like, I'll just, like, that's why I tell people, like, huh, you, you don't like me? Google review. They change their tune real quick. They change their tune quick. Because they know, right? They, in the days of computer age, um, yeah, they, they have to keep a good reputation. Have I seen the new con Condor liveries? You mean those flying popsicles? Yes, yes. <laughs> he said rice for life. I'm dead. Thank you, bro. Glad to be back here. I Hey, man, I'm, I may, like I always say, I may not be there live, but one of those views, one of those likes is always mine. Um, I will claim that each and every day. But, uh, yeah, keep up the work. You know, I, I definitely have to get there during a live stream. It's just literally you're you're the thick of your live stream as I start my work day. And I'm like, dang, do I say hi and then don't say anything again for two hours, three hours because I'm working? Or do I just drop a like and stay incognito? Yeah, I'm going to stay incognito. <laughs> but awesome job, dude. Truly, I mean that. Truly, truly. The new ones, yeah, the flying popsicle sticks, like the green one, they got a red, a yellow, like this orangish, it's like banana pudding yellowish, I don't even know what it is. That, yeah, I'd rather bleach my eyes too. Like, I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Like, I don't hate it, but I'm not a fan of it. Um, and it's weird because their old livery was actually really nice. Like, it's not like they had some hideous livery, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was, it was a pretty daggone good livery. We're just gonna afford a Corolla GR hatchback when it comes out next year. 300, oof, goodness, that's crazy. Uh, talk about, <laughs> yeah, that's literally what it is. That is literally what it is. We'll see if there's any, any centers hopping on yet. Probably not. No, we're still flying. We're at the halfway point just about. Yeah. Yeah, incognito, that's what I'm saying, dude. I just roll incognito. You know, I don't want people to, oh, well, he's, he, he was here. No, he's not. I just stay. I stay around. I say hello when I have, when I can. But that, that's just it. One thing with a max uh, for me is it tends to overspeed on approach. I have to use the speed brakes. So what I have learned is it's like flaps. Flaps 10 is like the flaps 10 to flaps 15. Well, 15 you gotta have gear down. But flaps 10 is like that real good, 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 good. Um, uh, like happy medium so if I keep that you know I don't really lose too much speed I don't gain too much speed uh, on my like my approach to the airport and then on final I, I never trust the auto throw I always turn it off that's just that's just me but I've, I've had that experience but I've kind of had to get my work around like do a work around like flat like how um, Airbus pilots say 
Flaps 2 is like that happy medium. I found in this plane specifically, um, like on your, you know, your descent and such, that uh, Flaps 10 is like that perfect medium. Um, let me take a look. Yeah, that's a good one. That's definitely a good one. I enjoy that one. A ton. Very nice. Into Dubai, looks like. Dubai. Very nice. Wyatt, what's going on? Just woke up from Sir. Ooh, hello. Well, hopefully it went well. Goodness. What did you have, uh... What did you have on your... Operated? What, what, it, what was it? Hopefully it was like your tonsil, so you need a whole crap ton of ice cream. But hopefully all is well. Thanks for stopping by. Sit back, relax. We're headed to Chicago. Um, if the doctor says you can have some deep dish, heck, I'll even go get it for you. Uh, little baby STI, 600 horses. Goodness, my friend. My friend had a, um, he had a, no, no, no. He had a Ford Focus STI. TSI? I, I don't know. It was all black. This thing was like souped up, tuned up, maxed out, like you name it, it had everything. I'm not, I'm not a car guru like that, um, but like he had this thing, and it was, it was called the Subaru Killer um, at school. Like he, this, you know, you know those kids at school, those spoiled little kids. They get everything. Like mom and dad bought, like mom and dad paid for college. Mom and dad bought him the car. He was one of those. Real good dude, though, nonetheless. One of my good friends. Uh, but nonetheless, this man had a car that most grown men, like I mean, legitimate grown men don't have like you'd hear this thing start up and you're like oh how what how did you have to, what yeah no nah, he had one of those cars he let me drive it one time he and he was very anal because nobody in where i went to school knew how to drive stick well at least not many but i said dude i, I hand over the bible i learned to drive on stick um so he's like all right take it for a spin okay okay uh, uh, he's lucky i came back <laughs> he's lucky i came back with that car yeah, definitely try it. So in your, you know, make sure you get your speed right. Um, and also, what what you could do, and I'll, I'll try to re go over this during the descent. This is just a little trick I learned. Um, in your descent, you know, try to use the speed intervene. So, right, and I'll, like I said, I'll show you that once we get um, in the descent. But this is another trick I've also learned that, that keeps my speed well, keeps it going. Um, might have to reset my game after landing. This is terrible sound glitching. Clouds are not showing. Yeah, definitely give it a little restart. Because, you know, I still got to do the replay. So that's like that perfect time to, uh, like, restart the sim and all that. Most of America doesn't know. Believe it or not, yeah. Um, like, I, I can't say most. I, I can say a good portion of at least people who are younger. Like, a lot of the older generation, a lot of older folks know um know how to drive stick but there is also a lot of people who you'd be like wait a minute how don't you know how to drive stick um like i know a lot of friends who lived in like mountainous areas like west virginia right if, if you live in america you know west virginia a lot of mountains a lot of this a lot of that um so the fact that you don't know how to drive stick and you had more times than not like mountains and four-wheel drive and this and that and that and this that would require you know at least hopefully a good standard car you're like nah i have no idea okay i had to go to the grocery store I saw this older guy being weird with a girl that was around 15 he grabbed her and i went over and he shot me in the chest two times shit what say what Bro, like, you're my freaking hero. I, honest to God, like, in all seriousness, like, damn. Um, that's crazy. Um, wow, this man got shot. Holy cow. Dude, I'm, I'm, well, first and foremost, thank you for the bravery, right? You know, that, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's crazy. Um, yeah, that's crazy. I, I really don't know what to say. Like, talking to a dude who just got shot <laughs> drew nah, i feel you i feel you drew like I, I just i read the same thing wow i hope you get better and i hope that little son of a gun rots in hell like pardon my french guys but goodness 
Ant, what's going on, big boss? How are you? Do I go off the sound of the engine or the feeling when the gears change? A little bit of both. Um, in all seriousness, it, it depends on the car. Uh, my brother had a Honda Accord that I just went off the feel, pure fuel. Uh, not fuel, feel, I should say. Uh, because he had more of that luxury one. So he, uh, what do you say? Uh, his wasn't all that loud, so it wasn't like, oh, I hear this engine just like going through the roof. Um, so I used the feel, but in that STI, it was all sound. All sound. Uh, I had got on me, but I couldn't grab it. Yeah, dang, that sucks, dude. I'm, I'm, whew. Your dad bought an automatic? Nah, yeah. I, I like automatic. Who here just got shot? Wyatt, dude. He's saving a girl's life. Uh, hello, playing pilot like I used to when I was four. Uh, well, crazy thing is, is you're like 14. I'm just playing. <laughs> What's going on, bro? How are you? How are you, man? What's going on, sir? What's going on, dude? Good five-speed manual. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, he had a... My brother had a six-speed. Um... My friend, I really don't even know what he had. So somebody could probably find that information out better than I. Um, but yeah, the, I, I'm almost certain it was a six-speed. I don't know. But nonetheless, like that was just one of them cars like you heard it go. It was, it was pretty sound. It was pretty good sounding. Yeah, it was. It was oof. Mm -mm -mm. Like that's my favorite part of the, of a, of a, uh of a standard car like especially the souped up ones like when you can hear that it's pretty cool uh, I used to have a that that son uh, I have no idea what that is dude I'm sorry because that's way before my time that's that's 12 years before I was bored yeah it was proposal is pretty crazy Trevor what's going on big dog how are you uh, yeah definitely definitely Love to hear the turbo sound. Yeah. Jake, what's going on, big dog? How are you, gentlemen? What's going on with y'all? My grandpa, uh, just search it up. Okay. Let me, I'm going to have to look up two things. A Dat Sun vehicle and whatever this thing is. I don't even know how to say that. Images. That is one. So that's like a... I don't even know. A hand tractor. Okay. It's a hand tractor. Interesting. Right? No? Or is that a... X? I have 2015 Volkswagen GTI manual. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, this thing. I have no... Like, I'm sure it's for farming. Like, I, I definitely wouldn't drive this around on a date. So, I'm going to assume that's for farming. And a... Dat Sun. That son. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what these are. Yeah, I just didn't know the name. That's all. I just didn't know the name. 83, you said, huh? 1983. Ah, uh, yeah, I know these. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yep. Yeah, I know these. These back to my GTA Vice City days. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Dang, okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. Not bad, not bad. So here's a question for all of you. Anybody and everybody could answer. If, if you had, let's say, let's let's keep it somewhat realistic. If you had $110,000, right? We'll say $110,000. What car would you buy? Because, I mean, in today's age, you know, maybe, like, we'll say the pandemic never happened. Um. In today's age, I feel people could spend a hundred, a hundred thousand on a car. I mean, heck, people do right now. Um, so we'll say a hundred grand. If you were well off, you know, and a hundred grand was your budget on a new vehicle, what, what would you buy? Have you seen the new Condor? Yes. It, you said it looks like beach towels. Beach towels. I think it looks like popsicles. I think it's like a, a variety pack of popsicles. I love Vice City. How much money? One ten, hundred and ten thousand um, dollars. So whatever a hundred and ten thousand is in your currency, a hundred and ten thousand dollars. Hummer EV, Tesla, 
lad, pot, pot, I don't even know how to say that. We'll have to look it up. The Hummer, especially that crab walk that it does, that's pretty freaking cool. Images. Okay. Okay, Drew. Okay. Look at his Tesla. Okay, Mr. Drew. I see you. That, this one right here. Oof. But I, me personally, I'd probably try to find it in like, uh, like, yep, right here. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, is this the interior? Dude, it's got a freaking yoke. Say what? Just slap some wings on this bad boy. Um, and call it a day. Yeah. Zero to 60 in two seconds. Man, Warden ain't never gonna let me have that. The trouble I'd get in, the cops I could run from, it'll be the... But heck, I'll just have to make... I'll be like, look, you don't understand. This is the quickest trip to the grocery store you will ever see. Definitely a Volvo. Okay, okay. I'm going to buy a Hummer EV. Okay, very nice. Let's pray center ATC gets on. I hope. One, just one more time. One good time. Can we go over it? Nope. 110. So if you've got a factor in the taxes, you might need to knock it down to like 90. What would you get? Not over, but you can't go under. I know mine. I know mine. Model X, yeah. Yeah, I could, I could do that. Let me show you mine. Images. I want one of these. Now, last I checked, and I could be wrong, but last I checked, these were just under a hundred. I want a wide-body Hellcat. I want one bad, bad. Like I seen one down here in Charlotte. This pilot has pilot, or he parks where the pilots park. So maybe, maybe he's a pilot. Uh, maybe he's not. I don't know. He just parks where all the other fancy dancy cars are. I'd assume they're pilots. Ain't no ramp I know can afford it. He has one of these in a gunmetal gray, black, everything else. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I want one bad. Now, if I can go over a hundred, um, I don't even know. I don't even know. The AMG GT, their four door, that's a good one. That's a good one. The Skyline, the R32, R34, which one? Which one? I'm gonna buy three S3 XY. Eh, that's a good one. Uh, I'm gonna buy a Skyline GTR V Spec. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That like the actually. So here's my dream car. Like this is legitimately. Uh, this mode. Stormtrooper this right here like this is my dream car um, I just want an army tracks exhaust and a little darker tin on the windows I'd probably find some better rims personally but this is my dream car a GTR are uh, just a GTR just like this like, I don't want anything like just an army tracks that's it oh my goodness like this is oh I love it Godzilla I need it. Are you still doing a second leg to Washington? Yes. Yep. 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 Still going to Washington. For some reason, when I turn on X Enviro, X Pilot crashes due to frames. Yeah, that's normal. Um, if you can't hold, I think it's 20 frames, it'll kick you off. Um, what I would recommend, I'll send you, I will send you a video of a, a what is it here? Let me find it. Well, I'm, well, I'm talking about it. Let's not talk about it. Uh, X I followed this, I gained a ton, I mean a ton of frames, like other people have tried it, they said they didn't gain that much, but I did, I went from, I probably, I probably gained almost like 30 frames, and that, I, I hand over to Bible, uh, so here's the link, try this, and then try redoing it, two year old BMW 6, M6, yes, yes, the Supra looks small, 
I've never, like, this is just me. I, the only super I like was on Too Fast and Furious. That's it. That's it. You don't like the, no, I don't really care for the new one. But I do like, I really do like, like that model. So maybe that's like 2015 to 2020 in that era. Um, hopefully they bring that back. But that, that was by far my favorite version of the GTR. Um, now, Ontario had a really good one when he said um, um, that BMW, not, or not BMW, excuse me, Mercedes-Benz. Now, I'm not much of a Mercedes guy. Um, like, to me, that's that's like older man luxury, older woman. Like, that's, that's like older folk luxury. Um, now, even the AMGs, they're nice, but you normally see like, like the older folk, middle age, things like that, folks driving those cars. So I'm a weight. Like I, I gotta age my body, right? My body's gotta age, even though I'm I'm just a 12 year old. But uh, yeah, I'm not ready for a Mercedes yet. I'll scratch that thing. Aim, yeah, I would love one. Don't get me wrong. Maybe when I one day when I become a wide body captain, I might I might mess around. <laughs> I might mess around, go buy me a, a car like that. You love whipping cars? Show, we'll show. That's no worry. By the way, your descent is late, especially for us. Uh oh. Let's see. Um, I wonder, cause I was going off of what it gave me here. Hold on. Appreciate that. We'll go. We'll do this. So we'll just we'll just start coming down, and if we have to do anything different, we will. But we'll go here. Uh, Ten center. That's what we're on the hunt for. Uh, approach here and we'll grab a taxi chart now you want to know what's crazy is my man captain nate here he knows this airport like the back this is obviously this is local airport but he knows this airport like the back of his hand so he can give us the instructions we need to get to where we need but first we got to start coming down um let me look at this we're going to vec um so that mm, let's maybe do Fifteen thousand. We won't get there, not by a long shot. But we'll. It'll. This will help us get there and get there quicker. So we'll go about twenty-five hundred. Uh, we're gonna get the seatbelt signs back on. There it is. And the cool thing I like about this airplane, um, the level up doesn't have it yet. Uh, hopefully it'll come out soon. As we'll do here. Southwest. We were definitely on American. Um, still no ATC, which is still fine. Um, but we need we need to do a couple things. So we'll come down here. Um, we're going to go legs. We're going to use this second FMC. We'll go blink. AOC will request weather request. K O R D. So insert that, we'll send it off, we'll get the weather, and we'll start doing all that. We sh we would descend to 8, alright cool, so we'll pop in 8,000, boom, where's boom, um, boom, so if we can get to, heck, if we can get to boom by 10, I can, I can wing it from there, but if we can get to here, or matter of fact, we'll look at this, and then we'll just do some mental math and stuff here. Or not math, but we'll apply some simple tactics. Uh, winds are one one zero at nine. Um, ten. All right, two nine six one. Um, so we'll use anti ice for this one. It's ten. I personally go plus ten, minus ten. Um, and the temperature, the, anything in that range, I'll, I, I will use uh, the auto or the anti ice. So we have that. Ricks, what's going on, big boss? How are you? So let's do. Ah, here's why. Let's go. Alright, 
Cool. Hopefully, I am. I had today off. Um, so my day is actually absolutely amazing. Got to hang out with my daughter. We went to go get some ice cream tonight. All that good stuff. All right, I'm a bit busy, Shaq. Hey, my friend, have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And we will definitely chat with you on the next one for sure. Stay safe, my friend. Um, cool. So let's start doing some, some stuff, shall we? Uh, we got to come here. We're going to do a flaps 30, 145, but we're going to add 5 to that. So it'll be flaps 30, 150 on landing here. That's what we'll be looking at. Um, if I use my charts, so if you guys have charts, um, look for your minimums. Um, mine right now be probably, I don't, I don't know the requirements. My man Kenny, what's going on, big dog? How are you? I don't know the requirements of what, you know, uses... Cat 1, Cat 2, Cat 3. I, ju I just simply don't know. Um, so I'm going to use Cat 1 minimums of 869. So we'll put in 869. If I just scroll like that, my hand will fall off. So we'll go here. 869. We'll do 870. Perfect. Uh, they said the altimeter was 61. We'll pop that in. 6. Set. Cool. Um, let's start doing some stuff here. Descent checklist. Altimeters two, uh, is standard. 2992 cross check. Uh, minimums. We just put that in. 870 cross check. Um, landing data. We'll be doing flaps 30. And uh, speed of 150. Approach briefing. So basically, well, like I just said, we're on the VEC 5. We're landing 10 center. We have our speeds. That's uh, completed. Auto brakes. How long is this runway? Uh, I think this is one of the longer ones in Chicago. Uh, 10,800 feet. So that's perfect. We'll do auto brakes 2. Auto brakes are um, fine. Passenger side. Seatbelt signs are on. Pressurization panel. It should start to roll back here in just a little bit. Slowly but surely it'll roll back. Uh, that is set. Recall is checked. Descent checklist complete. When a center gets on, go figure, right? Today I'm doing Air Hong Kong cargo ops. Left out of Manila. So I'm headed to Taiwan, then to Seoul, then to Tokyo, then back to Hong Kong, then Manila, last leg back home to Kuala Lumpur. Good. Ravy. Talk about earning your paper, bro. Um... Kenny, what's going on, sir? How are you? I know I said hello, but I didn't I didn't get to say hello. How are you? How's the missus? Uh, hopefully all is well. What do you think about the rain? Let me tell you, I'm over it. About over this daggone rain. Um, the other day, last rainstorm we had, it was the morning morning rainstorm. It was probably like two weeks ago. I hated it. So I've gotten my share of rain. That's why. <laughs> I've gotten my fair share of rain, so I'm about over it. So that's, that's that. Now, things we have to worry about here in Chicago. Um, have you all ever heard of, if you've ever watched like just planes or air clips, you'll hear the pilots when I say threats. Um, what are some threats? Chicago itself, like the airport. Like I don't mean the city, like the airport itself. Um, so and I, the reason why I'm saying that is because these are, are things that a real pilot would think of, right? Like when you're landing into Chicago or any airport for that matter, um, you think of threats. What what could you do that would get you, your airplane, your passengers into some wild predicament? Wyatt, what's going on? Cruz, what's going on, sir? Evening, gentlemen. Cruz, another one. Guys, if y'all don't know this man, Cruz Simulation, you've got to go check him out. Cruz, I just want to say this. One thing and one thing only. Keep up the daggone good work, sir. You just cracked 500. It's an amazing journey, ain't it? Um, you know, all I say is your schedule and my schedule, whackheads. That's okay, right? There's no uh, schedule that somebody said, you must stream at this time and you must stream at that time. Our schedules of life, just whackheads all the time. So I just want you to know I am there. I am watching. Uh, one of those likes, one of those views, always for me, man. But keep up that good work. Guys, I personally, this is another one. Stamp the Shaq seal of approval. He's got it. Go check him out. Uh, awesome content creator, really cool dude. So stop by, say hi, real cool guy. Um, but 
like I was saying real quick, and then we'll get back to flying. We're at out of standard, so we'll go here. We'll go lights on. Um, the airport. So that's a threat within itself. And the reason I say that is because just look at this thing. How easy is it to get lost, go the wrong way, do the wrong thing here? So we are going to land 10 center, and we've got to come over to this neck of the woods. Now, like I said, just getting over here, that's a headache and a half. So that's why I say threats. Uh, one of the threats is the airport itself. So if ATC is on, cool. If not, we'll just have to make sure uh, more than likely our man Nate will give us some taxi instructions. Uh, if not, we'll just wing it ourselves, right? We'll, we'll make, a, make it do what it do to get over to H or K. Uh, the G gates are more, I think, express, American Eagle. So H and K is where we're headed. Uh, but we'll do it. We'll make it do what it do. Um, but other than that, let's do it. Yeah, he's putting up some flights, dude. Like he went, what was it? Across the pond was one of them. And then like right back to back, like right the next day, another long haul. So yeah, he's putting up some flights. Doing well, she's doing good. Glad I ducked the rain, uh, Dreamville Fest. Oh, okay, awesome. Well, I hope you guys, if she's with you, hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself. Uh, yes, definitely, man, talk about duck and rain. I took, so I told her today if she was going to be a good girl all day long, I would take her to uh, go get some ice cream. She was good, but sh she's like, Dad, can we go get ice cream? I crack open that door. Man, the rain, bro. The rain, the rain, the rain. That sucked. All right, we'll can, we can do this. Um, chances are we're... Ooh, Nelly, it's going to pitch us up like crazy. Like like I thought. Uh, we'll do speed intervene, and we'll go 250. So we'll get there. And it's only pitching up the nose, so we can get to 250, and then it'll start going back down. So we'll do that. 250 even go we keep going lower like it's not a restriction i just i just needed to use that as a, a reference you're gonna do the lex leg ricks appreciate you bro i uh, appreciate you so much for the words much love to you brother uh hope you and the fam are doing well i'm just enjoying the break after back to back dude i would enjoy it too man i would enjoy it too like like i said those are it's not just like little flights like oh we're going kennedy to la or whatever the case may be no, this man went like Van, like Drew said, Vancouver to Istanbul. Check that out on a map. Like I gotta sit there and flick my phone four or five times to find it on the map, and he did that on the stream. Psh, crazy. Oh my. Um, we'll swing over here to altitude intervene, and this is what I was saying. So if you if you use the intervenes, it will it'll keep your plane kind of in order, right? It'll it'll keep it in order. Uh, yes, that's where we're going. Real question, did you go to read us? No, not yet. Not yet. I've got, well, now three more days off. But we are going to go. I, I told the missus about it. She said it sounds delightful. So we are going to go. Um, let's tune in our ILS frequency now. Uh, we go mode. Nope. ILS is one, 108 nine five. Nine, five. We'll keep it in the standby and zero nine threes. So go here. Nine three on this side. Nine three on that side. Cool. Real yeah, I didn't yet. Uh, we do have different shows. I'm trying my best to stream at different times so everyone Yeah, no, that's the best thing to do. You know when I before I had my airport job, that was my goal, was to find the best time that, you know, everybody could come in, see, hi, say hi, say bye, whatever the case is. Um, but now that I have work, you know, I just have to, good night, bud. I just have to stream when I can stream. Um, so yeah, I, believe me, I know. It, but nonetheless, you know, keep up the work. We're, we're going to on our, our descent because we're, we're getting we're cutting it close like I don't want to screw anything up so I will do this next time when we're not so far behind um, I will explain this next time um, we're through 11 let's go ahead and pause the tunes right let's get that stereo cockpit Rita smacks see now look y'all probably gonna make me go out on a late, late night trip and get some Rita's here I, look 
at you guys. Look at you guys. And the sad part is, is I crack under peer pressure. So you start throwing in good food. Uh, yep, screw it. Um, we'll do that. We'll tell them to prepare for landing. And we'll get an approach checklist. Nav flight of instruments um, are check or verify excuse me cabin notification we just did that it's completed altimeters 2961 2961 cross checked approach checklist complete we've got a route change to keep under five legs so manila then seoul then back to manila then home base well heck they all sound fun that's that's the thing is they all sound fun um i don't even know which one to pick i, I wouldn't know which one to pick so I believe, maybe. Uh, let me see where we are. Ladies and gentlemen, the flight crew has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. Please return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt. No, we really won't get a, that good of a view of, of Chicago. Like, because we're going to kind of turn away from it. Like, I think it's right up here just a bit. Um, so I, I don't think we'll get, like, a great view of it. Maybe. Maybe on the turn, like we I said, away. But we'll see. Chicago. Welcome back, big boss. Welcome back. Right, there's the 10. Uh, let's Please check our temperatures. Items, Five. The yeah, we'll turn them on. We do got to whip through some clouds, so we might not need them on the whole time, but just through those clouds, we'll get the anti-ice on. That's all we got to do. Um, and what do I have to grab at Barry? Um, it'll... 8,000. So we're actually not. We're doing all right. Um, I thought we were way off. Like, I mean, way off. But we're not. Um, the King's Ace. Welcome back, big bro. Chicago's your hometown? Really? That's awesome. So you're not too far out. Um, so Captain Nate is also a Chicago native. Um, Y'all ought to link up for sure. Like, for real. Um, you know, grab some food, grab some lunch, grab, watch some airplanes. You know, he's in the chat as well. Real cool young man. Um, so if y'all are in the, you know, I know Chicago's big, like real big. <laughs> so if it's anything like, like I'm thinking, you know, you're in the same, you know, area, y'all got to go hang out sometime. Before we start your computer. All right. All right. We'll be here. Might not be able to catch the next flight. I have to verify my uh, integrity game files. But I'll do it later tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Hold on. Let me uh, say goodnight to my, my daughter. Why, hello. Whoa, do you see what I'm doing? All right, sassy. Let's count. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Thousand to go. Six. Seven. But time for bed. Give me a kiss. No, no, no. I gotta, I gotta land. I'm about to land. Good night. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Twins are fighting. No, oh, I. Psh. No, that's my three-year-old. Had to read her a bedtime story. Chicago is also your hometown. Amazing here. Ah. See, look at that. All my Chicagoans, step up, step out. So we'll linger at 8 for a while. We'll keep 250 till we get here. Uh, we'll make a call. Chicago traffic, American 689. We're on the VEC 5, direct to pink. We'll be turning for the ILS 10 left. We'll call final, Chicago. Cool. All right, we've done that. Um, there's, oh, no. That's not it. Chicago still I think I think it's down up that way right as we turn away we'll, we'll go there see look look at this the twins are fighting mic check, mic check. five by five how do you hear me five by five. sweet I wish well no I don't I, they're they're actually asleep it's my three-year-old that's causing mayhem right now uh, 
She's norm she's normally the mayhem causer. Alright, so let me take a look. Uh, you guys want it in the turnaround state, so that's fine. We'll end that, and let's do another vote here. Let's do... Create a poll. Uh, there. So you guys can pick that. Perfect. Cute moments, yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, they're all. They, she always likes to use me as the uh, the scapegoat, right? Like, hold on, I gotta go read a story to Daddy. Now nah, look, you just got me in trouble, dude. Thank you. Uh, here, let's see if this will work for you guys. Um, if it does, I hope it does. Place your bets. I forgot to do that. Your laptop is lagging. Uh oh. That's no bueno. No bueno, big boss. Um, so we're almost to that point of vector. Uh, that'll be on a uh, 270 heading. So once we get to here, we'll go on a 270 heading. And um, we'll vector ourselves around. I don't think we need to go that far out. Like, we, we probably, probably could, like, save some time hi i'm new to your channel well first and foremost my friend guys you know what to do we didn't get the notification that's a-okay but uh guys if you've got them use them welcome aboard welcome welcome do i use ortho or orbix i use ortho for xp and i use um something called sim haven um sim haven is is really what gives me a better auto gen auto gen than the default it gives you more buildings more homes more roads more lights um, than what default gives you i uh, states of the noise which was wrecky all that stuff hmm i don't may what are your settings at maybe do you have to try to ch like turn a setting down a little bit um if you're using X Enviro, definitely turn that off and just use the real one. Like, you know, the default weather, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that, that's really weird. Like, I, I, I don't, I'd have to see, like, the log file, like your log text file. But um, yeah, nonetheless, man, welcome aboard. Uh, we'll break pro protocol real quick. So feel free, follow me. Uh, if you are thirsty, right, if you're thirsty, grab yourself a drink. If you're old enough, grab yourself a beer. I know I would. Um, you've been upgraded to first class today. So, you have your fine choice. Still first class. You can sit up behind the wing, or you can sit in front of the wing. Choice is yours. If you're hungry, let me offer you a meal. Uh, we all like to eat around here. So, take your pick. Meal, too. If you are a vegan, you can have just the rice and the vegetables. Uh, but nonetheless, we have meals for you. Enjoy, and welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, you can you can give a uh, exclamation dis exclamation point Discord if you want to join the Discord. Really, the best way to stay up uh, up to date with everything. You know when we're not streaming, it'll find out when we are streaming, right? I always post in there first, so feel free to join that. Make some friends, join the family. Uh, hopefully, you come with a a uh, a large stomach because boy, let me tell you, we talk about food here like it's our job. You, oh man. You're a vegan? Well, shoot. I, I, I really don't I, I don't know much about it. I'm going to have to start making a better vegan menu. Um, if you can have rice and vegetables, eat until your heart's content, bro. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know much of the vegan thing because, quite honestly, I didn't get this big off of broccoli. Like, I got this big off of, off of everything. Like, I'm on a seafood diet. Like, I see food and I eat it. That, that's just me. Uh, let's start cranking the speed back here. We'll go about 240 for now. We'll, we'll slow down as well. Um, Burke, let's see what maybe we can. I know that voice. Um, what? Pratt. Um. Which, I think I have one. Hold on. Yeah, 10. Aha, that's why. Man, we would have screwed ourselves royally. Um, 
Let's do this. Ten center. Execute. I was like, why? Why don't these match? Um, Barry. So if we go there, Barry's at nine or above. That's fine. Um, Kyla. Kayla. Kyla is seven. So I think that's what we'll go. We'll go for Kyla or Kayla, however you like to call it. Um, nonetheless, we're going to turn inbound here. Uh, that's at 7,000. So we'll come here. We'll do s if I can get the click spots. Come on. There. And we're going to start dropping that speed down to about 100. Or 210, because we are in Chicago. So 110 will get us killed. Or 190, excuse me, will get us killed. Uh, 210 should be all right. And perfect. You know what? I just want to use this. Because I want to ensure I can put us where we need to be when we need to be there. How's the speed? Perfect. So if you've seen 210, I did speed intervene in 210. We're slowing down perfectly. Go. I'll get my flaps 10 out in just a minute here once we get under that speed. We'll go flaps 5 for now. Uh, we should be approaching Kayla on track, and we'll make a call to uh, Chicago's Chicago area uh, United or correction American 689 will be doing the ILS 10 center. We're going to turn at Kayla, and we'll call established for Chicago. Um, so to do that, let's go next page here. I'll go there. I won't execute it yet because I want to get my turn to about 90. We'll flip this over. Traffic active. American 435 going down to 4,000 feet for the ILS 10 left approach. Perfect. There he is. Uh, I'm a vegan. Uh, to her play. Oh my god. We said we are not the same. <laughs> uh, <he's laughs> Potatoes. Ooh, I, yeah, no, nah, I, I could definitely, definitely go. Uh, I can go to town on some like some different you know mashed potatoes baked potatoes fried potatoes you name it you know your son's 220 and a vegan dang i wish i was 220 i'm like a good probably like a good 260 you know what i'm saying like on a good day something like that all right cool so we'll go execute perfect there's the turn we'll get out flaps 10 and we'll go 190 So speed intervenes going to hold us nicely. Uh, we'll get this on. We're doing that. Nothing but love. I remember when I used to love me. So, uh, yeah, dude, I, I, psh, I don't care what anybody eats, man. Just make sure you eat and you eat well. That's that's my life, like my life thing. Is make sure you eat and you eat well. Like my fear, people think I'm joking all the time. No jokes. One of my biggest fears is to die hungry. Um, I refuse to die hungry. So probably why I'm so daggone big is because every meal I eat is like I eat like my last. Uh, all right, here we go. Well, actually, no, that's that's landing checklist. Hold on, we'll hold off on that. Um, got our checklist handy. I'll need that in just a minute. And other than that, guys, I got to focus. Sit back, relax. Uh, Mr. Beast is the biggest YouTube YouTuber in my state. He's the biggest YouTuber like of YouTube. This man is, is absolutely amazing what he does on YouTube. Um, yeah. <laughs> Eight times a day? Oh, my. I don't even know how many times I eat a day. Eight times a day. I want to try some, some proper vegan meals. I know there's a lady I work with who's also a vegan, and when she warms up her meals at work, let me tell you, they smell amazing. All right, so we're at flaps 10. We're flying perfectly. We're at 190. Um, we're going to grab that localizer. Actually, we're going to go approach because we should grab it at the same time. Like... I think I, yep, localizer. Look at this, we're a half a dot off. I don't think I could have planned that any better. Uh, yes, I'm from North Carolina. Glide slope is captured. Chicago traffic, uh, American 689, a fully established ILS 10 center to Chicago. Uh, glance at your phone, let me land and I got you, bro. I got Mr. Beast beat. Man, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, so we'll keep this, we'll keep an eye on our speed. We'll slow to about 180 for now. We're doing good. We're on the glide, so we can set our go around now to 4,000. Um, basically, it's go around procedure straight out. And 
and um, if there was ATC, they'd give us a whole bunch of other stuff, hold this, that, and third. There's no ATC, so what we would do, and, it ha and if we had to go around, rinse and repeat. We're doing a big old traffic pattern. Uh, 4,000, 180. Speed's coming back. See that? 180 is looking good. Um, he said, he said, ah, oh, you got a beep. I appreciate it. Slay the beast. <laughs> uh, let's get a little flyby through the soup here. You want to see it? Me too. Especially when he does one of those YouTube videos where he hands out money. That's when I want to see him. I mean, I'll see him any day. But when he's got money in hand ready to give out, I really want to see him. Doing good. Now, all this sitting here, we've planned, we've done this, we've done that. The rest is on me, so hopefully I can give us a good landing. Um, that's the plan. And my goal, anything under 200, anything under 10. Uh, personally, I think anything under 11 seconds. Like I know other people have their their uh, their their differences, right? I I'm okay with that. I think anything under 11 seconds, under 200. Um, uh, in the touchdown zone, center line, all that. Like, I mean, granted, 10 seconds, the, the number, that, that don't mean jack in the real world. Um, for me, center line, touchdown zone, and smoothness, that's a good landing. Uh, but for simming purposes, if we can get under 10 seconds, if I can keep it under 11 seconds on a float, I think that's pretty good. Because um, sometimes you're just coming in fast. Like, I mean, just downright fast. And you got bleed off speed, so... That might tack on a second or two, but you it was still a safe landing. Nonetheless, here we go. We've got to do this. I will catch you guys on the ground. You got the max 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6? Good Lord. Hold on. Hold on. Horrible timing. Oh, shoot. Ain't nobody knock at the door. Oh, no. Now's not the time, sweetheart. Sorry. Daughter walked right in here. Perfect. Right. Um, we're five miles out, give or take. Uh, no, we're probably about, that's from here, so we're probably about eight miles out. Chicago traffic, American 689, eight mile final for uh, one zero center, Chicago. Cool, let's keep that speed coming back. We said 150, did we? I think. Yeah, 150 on the speed. So we'll keep that coming in nicely. We'll do 165 for now. Once we hear 2,000, gears down, speed's back, flaps coming out, we'll arm our speed brakes. She's crying? Yeah, it's, it's her bedtime. All right, perfect. Keep an eye on it here. All right, we got 11 knots, basically punching a square in the nose. Um, Join the Batsim network, perfect. All right, let's do it. We'll go gear down, flaps 15. Start bringing that speed back to 150. Get our lights. Continuous. Continuous. Landing checklist. Gears down, flaps 30. Uh, let's see, sorry, 30. 30 green light, speed brake is armed, engine switches are continuous, landing checklist complete. Here goes nothing. Don't mind my daughter, all she wants is to stay up past her bedtime, can't have it. But I'll catch you guys on the ground. Exactly, exactly. I, I fully agree with you. Um, that's kind of what I say. You know, center line touchdown zone, make sure you have a good, safe landing. That's really all I look for. But in the simming world, you know what I'm saying? Uh, people are like, oh, you need butter, you suck. So the, try to give them like, well, hmm. if I can give you under 200, I think that's a pretty good landing. Screaming? Oh, yeah, screaming her head off. Feet going on the pedals. My best point. feet stabilized, Mr. Birch Allen's here set.
Where's the second call out coming from? Minimums. Continue. One hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Fifty. Forty. Forty. Thirty. Thirty. Twenty. Twenty. Ten. Ten. Reverse green. Two greens. D cell. Take this high speed. Look at that. 20. What? Chicago traffic. Uh, American 689. Clear of all active runways. Chicago. All right. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. to Chicago. The local time is 6.30 p.m. And uh -huh. it's currently about 48 degrees Fahrenheit. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a so complete we'll stop here. and the seatbelt uh, sign is turned off. Flip that. Remember to use caution Actually, when opening the overhead bins as items may have shifted during the flight. If this is your final destination, it's a dead frequency, so your plane won't tune, in, tune anything. Uh, Nao, we'll be back five. Perfect. Perfect. Um, do that. Uh, let's go here. There. After landing, engine start switches are off, flaps are up, speed brake is down, radar is... I did have weather on, so we'll turn that off. After landing, checklist complete. Perfect. Let's see what's going to be sent to America, shall we? What? 178? Oh, well. I'm not mad at it. Eight second float on the center line. I'm pretty sure we were well in the zone. So, nonetheless, that was halfway decent in my book. Yeah, see, he even said it. Grease mode, right? Grease mode. Uh, we'll come up here. We're on Papa. We'll swing over to Fox. Fox Trot. No, that's that wouldn't be good. Uh, we'll do Papa Echo Echo. Yeah, there we go. So follow me. Follow me, folks. We'll keep the lights on because we have to cross a runway. So I wanted to cross here, but that's just simply not going to happen. Plus, we have traffic right here. So. Probably by the time we get up here, hold short, it'll be the perfect time to sit back, relax, and watch this, my man, uh, grease it. I think, I think that's Chase. I think. Don't quote me on it. Uh, I don't have the voice down pat. So normally I can identify you by your voice, never by your call sign. I'll never, never get that right. But I normally can say, oh, yeah, that voice is uh, such and such. And I think that was Chase. Well, I never heard the flight attendant say that uh, arrived in Chicago. So this is uh, PACX. So if you use PACX, um, it'll give you so it'll give you all that information. Like you know, welcome here, welcome there. Um, it'll give you a rating. So all of our passengers are 94% satisfied. We're 25 minutes early, um, and uh, yeah, so you you get rated as if you had like people in the back. Uh, we'll turn here. Will hold short because that that traffic. Stop the clock too. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Up here. But yeah, that's also how I got my uh, safety briefing. So if you remember hearing that American Airlines safety briefing, that's how I got that too. And I think the the Zebo does it. The Max, the Zebo. I think it does it. I could be wrong, but that's how, at least how I get mine, um, is by doing it that way. Oh boy. Hello. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, there we go. You had tripped up for two days. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, if you call that, if you do that, that call sign again, I'm pretty sure it'll happen for another <laughs> Another two days, forty-two up, forty-two oh seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, boss, bring it in. There's only sixty-six eyeballs watching you right now, so no pressure, no pressure. Up, oh, and they are back. Uh oh, uh oh, what's happening? Maybe they have a different scenery. Traffic uh, southwest 654 is 
lining up the wrong way for right. Um. Well then. Uh. Uh. I I don't know. That's a go around. That's a go around. All right, there he goes. Uh oh. <gasps> no. Okay. Um. Rip. Okay, here we go. We're out of here. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Worry 435. We've got the trucks rolling for you now. All right, those will come off. That'll come off. Wow, nice landing, bro. Great, great job. Let's reach out. <laughs> it's all right, dude. Uh, we've been there. Open the stream and see it up, dude. I don't know because let me tell you, Chase was coming in. On the glide, I mean, he looked pretty daggone good. Um, I, I, well, I shouldn't say on a glide because he had quite the nose down. He was trying to catch back up at Piers, but nonetheless, uh, the 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 you know what? I don't know. I'm sitting here trying to tell you. I don't know. I have no idea what just happened there. Uh, but we'll go park over here. You guys want to park next to a Dreamliner? Or a 7.6. I'm thinking a Dreamliner. Yeah, we'll swing. There's somebody. 160. We'll, we'll take that. Great landing. Hey, you know what? The only way to get back at these little weasels is to, uh, what? Fire up again. <laughs> Fire it up again. Approach mode didn't work. Hmm. That's weird. I'd have to. Once again, I, I'm not a, I'm not type rated. I just I would have to see it to try to diagnose the problem. Um, but yeah, oh well, at least he made it to Chicago, right? Like that, that's that's the important thing is he made it to Chicago. <laughs> Sounds like a level up, man. I I don't know what level that was, but I hope I never get there. If that was level two, I'm gonna stick to level one. I will gladly stick to one. All right, in the ramp, there it is. We'll park right here. Um, we'll take this one. How about that? Yeah, we'll take this one. Kilo thirteen. But heck, that's the fun part about simming. Cause I've I've been there. I've I've crashed on stream numerous times. My safety record is not impeccable. All right, let's stand him up and get him off, shall we? So we'll go here. We will go seat belts off. That's auto, ain't it? Maybe I never turned them on. Anyways, um, get you sweet. Uh, we'll get the anti ice off. I never switched over to the generators. I knew I was looking up there at something. And I was like, something don't look right. Well, let's try it anyway. Um, so we'll do this. 
and we'll get a shutdown checklist. You guys said you want to see the 737-800 in a turnaround state, so that's what we'll do. We'll set this plane up uh, to end it in a turnaround state, and then uh, we'll fire up the next one in the turnaround state. So let me come up here, get this stuff ready to go. Next crew will go here. Come down here. Perfect. Shutdown checklist. Parking brakes set. Fuel pump switches. One on. Seat belt signs off. Uh, window heat is off. Probe heat is auto. Anti ice is off. Uh, electric hydraulic panel is set. No, excuse me, is off. Air conditioning panel is set. Anti collision light off. Transp engine start lever, sorry, uh, cut off it, and transponder is standby. Shutdown checklist complete. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, oh, 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 it's a level up. That one, he might have had gotten leveled up. Yeah. I, I don't know. But nonetheless. Oh, so I guess my beacon does it, my beacon switch don't work okay it works on the z on the normal zebo when i flick the button but it doesn't work on this one that's okay not too worried about it um we'll file this plan we'll finish it up that's going there um shoot i forgot to file my flight plan with that one um we'll go here see what volanta gave us review the flight statistics 178 Eh, okay. Um, so, uh, this one, Pack X, will end the flight. 180, golly. Slightly ahead of schedule. A baggage issue. Say what? That's American for you. Uh, I'm totally telling my friends about this. Thank you. I wish I didn't. <laughs> I wish I didn't have that extra shot of rum. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Uh, with that being said, guys, we'll go here. We'll get a few quick replays on it. Uh, we'll s disconnect. We'll go to the tunes definitely get some tunes here um, there. that's one and we'll go just a little farther back well that that tower view just about sucks um, where's the tower there's a tower. I don't know if it's the tower, but it's our tower. Look at the skyline back there. Whew. Golly. Golly. Um, voila. Cool. We'll play it from here. Turn back around. Find the plane. And there she be. Uh, we'll go here. We'll hide you. We'll start you. Awesome. There you go. Enjoy. I'm going to turn the camera off, too, so that way you guys don't have to look at my face anymore. Uh, we'll go bam, just like that. We'll watch that. We're coming in. Don't mind the door. Uh, gate agent opened the door too soon. Um, oh, come on. Come on, like that's not, like I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh no, I buttered it, no. But I'm not gonna say it was bad. That wasn't bad. I mean, we were in the zone too, shoot. And on center line, I mean, I'm pretty sure we were pretty right on the center line too. Perfect landing profile, like oof, oof. That's pretty daggone nice. All right, uh, we'll go from here. This is one of my. This is like the truth be told view. How we looked. Do two more. We'll throw it into the be right back screen. We'll load back up. Getting my f my flight plan for uh, our next one. Oh, look at that, guys! Come on. Now, if we could just come back a little bit. Correct, get on that center line. 
This is where I need like a better set of pedals, like a more precise pair of rudder pedals. And I wouldn't be all over the map like that. Um, but that's not bad. Like, that's really not bad. And we hit the high speed. Oof. That's a job well done in my, my simple little brain. Alright, so you guys enjoy this one. Uh, yeah, we'll do it from here. Let me uh, file this. Once we land, I'll throw it to the very back screen. Guys, if you want, load up with me. We're at Chicago. You know where we are. We're headed to Washington. You know where we're going. So hopefully we'll see some people there. Perfect. All right, Wash, my friend. Have a great one. Cruz, have a great one. I think you said you were headed. I'm head off. Oh, no, that was Kings. Yes, Kings. Have a great night, gentlemen. Wash, Kings, anybody else who is leaving. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys have a wonderful evening. Uh, I'm going to throw it to this Be Right Back screen here. I will get us loaded up in the um, turnaround position so you'll hear the engine start. I'll get all this good stuff going. Um, that door should, or the jet bridge co should come back. But uh, give me a second, I will be right back.
Alrighty, welcome back guys, welcome, welcome back, we are ready, we're gonna take the uh, bare metal jet, I've seen one of these in real life, uh, at, at work, just, well, obviously at work, but seen one of these uh, not too long ago, so I said, hmm, let's give it a whirl. Uh, we've got 30 minutes, get this plane turned around, taken off on our way to Chicago. To everyone who did dip out during that intermission, I hope you have a great night if you're seeing this again. To anybody new who's coming on board during this leg, welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we are departing out of Chicago O'Hare. We're headed to our nation's capital. If you are a United States citizen like myself, uh, let me do this. Because I, I got told I was supposed to provide a, a, a route in the comments here. Uh, so while I remember, because I didn't do it on my last one, copy. Uh, we'll go here, paste. Uh, we're flying 370, that's fine. There it is. Bare metal nothing more we're in that turnaround state hopefully you guys are ready to go you're here loading up perfect wonderful mike what's going on sir how are you happy tuesday awesome river visual if we can get it i'm all for it um either way i am all for it uh, but without further ado uh let me come over here get this thing kind of centered it's never going to be centered for you guys um half an hour for my flight let's roll let's do it dude hopefully you get a nice good landing um, I prefer the Honeywell we'll go display I think it is over under to start uh, where is it? Uh, systems there it is. no it's the Collins sorry I like the Collins um, we'll do that, and if I go back to this, um, realism, um, we'll do the align time of real, real, we'll do that, because if you do real, like the same, the same, uh, like real on the refuel time, it could take like 30, 40 minutes, so I, I, I just make it long. Um, we'll keep that, we'll go over here, we'll save it, and so, ready, set, go. Clock's a ticket. Um, we'll come up here. We'll just say all the tests were done. So we just got to go there. Like fire test um, and all that. Annunciator lights, those were all done for us. So we'll just roll with uh, setting the airplane up, getting it ready for its next leg. Uh, we'll get our window heats on. Those will stay off. Uh, we'll go here. 370. We'll go down here. Zero. Uh, those are good. Those are on. That's fine. Perfect. Um, Seatbelts are off. This is armed. Cool. Uh, doors are good. All right, let's roll, shall we? Love that livery. Reno one. Me too. This one and the Reno one. Yeah, I, I definitely. I've seen the Reno one. I've seen this one. I, I've. I have. I've seen them all. I've like, and I don't mean they're like. Oh, I've seen them all. Like I legitimately have seen them all at the uh, at the Charlotte airport. Uh, K. Oh, the best one I've ever seen was the brand new uh, Medal of Honor. That on the Airbus, oof, oof. I think that might take the cake for my favorite special livery. Like normally my favorite one is the US Airways one. Um, Cause that's my favorite airline, Long Live Cactus. But that, that Medal of Honor livery, oh my, K, where is it? K, D, C, A. Let's see what they're landing right now. Um, if we get one nine, we know off the bat, it's river visual time. Um, runway one. So maybe the Mount Vernon visual? Maybe? Go here, flight number AAL 1259. 1259. Go here, runway out of Chicago. It's 10 left, same one. Well, no, we came in on the center, sorry. So 10 left going out. Uh, we'll go to here. Wait. Let's do this. So then we can kind of time this up real good. Uh, we'll come over here, over here, payload, uh, see if you guys packed any lighter. Last time it was 42, this time it was 36, so that gets not bad. 36, 9, we'll say 37. Point zero. Insert that, we'll go back with the gas. Oh, we should have had more gas than that. 19.0. Uh, now we'll call the truck. There it is. Cool. Thank you. Um, there's no 
not a departure, but it's off of 10 left, so we have that selected. Um, we go back to here. Um, it'll be the, I think I said the Caps 3. Uh, no, Freedom 5, sorry. Freedom 5 from Bucko. We'll program the ILS 1. Maybe, depending on the weather, maybe, just maybe, we'll get the visual. Um, which is pretty pretty much straight in, so it's really nothing special, but it, it's something different, right? Here, we'll activate and confirm that. Let's just make sure, other than coming off of our runway, right? So off of 10 left, we'll have a vector. Um, and then it shouldn't see another one until vector to final. And there it is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, over here, we can stop the cleaning. We'll get the plane loaded. Wonderful. Um, we're looking for a few things. One, ATC. Is anybody up? Here. No, that's fine. Um, hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, here. And perfect. So nobody's on, that's fine. I just want to put in 2960. Six. Zero. Here we'll put in 400. That's the, f the minimum altitude um, to start making your turns and stuff. So we'll climb to 400 and then we'll go, we'll go from there. Go, go, go. My finger's cramping up. Go. There we go. On the dot. It's going to be a good flight. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Love that liver. Yes, yes. Forgot to update your uh, your GPU. Uh-oh. Right, that fuel is all loaded up and you are good to go. Cool. So we just have to go to this. We'll start getting our numbers now, and then we'll do our... Actually, no, let's do that now. Let's do that now. So, pre-flight checklist. Interior and exterior inspection is complete. Circuit breakers. They're not modeled, so they're checked. Nav and display switches. Up top, normal, auto. Uh, passenger signs, they just said the fueling was complete, so we'll go get those on. Uh, let's see, window heats are on. Engine bleed switches are on. Uh, pressurization panel is set. Pressurization mode selectors right here are auto. Uh, MCP that's not set yet because we don't have our numbers. Um, oxygen masks. Checked. Altimeters 2960 and 2960 cross checked. Uh, flight nav instruments, so basically. We don't want to see anything up here. We want to see no V speeds checked. Warning and enunciator lights, those were checked. Speed brakes are down. And a takeoff warning. Checked and closed. And the start switches are cut off. Uh, takeoff, whoop, did that, sorry. Stab trim, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Stab trim cutoff switches right here. These are it. They're at uh, the normal position. Fire warning, we said those were checked. Radio and transponders are set. Radar is off. Rudder and aileron trim. That's down here, right? That's this lovely right here. Zero and free. Uh, parking brake is set. Windows are closed and locked. Flight attendant briefing is complete. They know where we're headed. Same crew. Departure briefing. We told. Uh, we said that it's going to be takeoff. One zero left. Fly runway heading. We have a vector. Logbook. Don't have one. Um, but it's on board. <laughs> uh, the fuel requ uh, the fuel was 16.3. We have 19.0 on board. Pre-flight checklist or complete. North Carolina or Duke? To be honest with you, I didn't really care. Um, I, I'm not much of a... F I don't say a fan of college basketball. I don't have a team for college basketball. Um, I like all college sports. Except for football, I like Alabama. Only because of Nick Saban. Um, Nick Saban's my guy. He's like my hero. Um, but for college basketball, I think college basketball is one of the purest forms of basketball played on the planet. Um, they don't play for a paycheck. They don't play for anything. They play for the love of the game. And I, I think anybody playing, uh, you're, you're playing it per, just amazing. So I don't have a basket, a college basketball team. What's the altimeter? 2960. 
this one on. We'll come down here. One, two, and three. Let's check on PackX, see how our people's doing. Um, here. Uh, are we almost done boarding back there? Roll Tide. Amen. Amen. I, I just love Nick Saban. Uh, he is my guy. Um, Nick Saban is, he's just, just that dude. Now, not to say like, oh, I, I don't like the team. No, I do. But the, the, the bar doesn't drop with Saban, you know? That, that's what I like about him. Uh, we'll get all the vehicles out of here. We should just have dropped away. Uh, we'll start closing up some doors. We're not waiting 12 minutes. I can promise you that. Uh, we might wait another five. We want to get out of here in about... So yeah, about the next five, ten, five to seven minutes is what... Excuse me. We're on the hunt for. So if we go here, go to doors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I would love to welcome you aboard our flight. When you find your seat, please be sure to place your larger carry-on items in the overhead bins uh -oh. and smaller items underneath the seat in front of you. Oh, Unless you're in the front row, please place um, all of your items cool. in the overhead bins. We can go here. If you have any trouble finding a location for your carry-on items, please let a flight attendant know and we would be happy to... Uh, we said it was 16 If the overhead bin is full three. after you put your carry-on inside so of it, we'll please two, close two, the bin as a courtesy to other passengers. Here. Once all your items are put away, please uh, clear the three, aisle and sit down in your seat seven, to allow zero. other passengers there. to find their seats as well. The if you are seated in an emergency exit row, please read the exit seating responsibilities in the safety uh, card in the seat back in front uh, of you. Please make sure you are willing and able to perform the actions required. If you are not able or prefer not to perform these actions, please let a flight so attendant know so you can be the west -ish. Feel free to Hopefully use your cell phones during the rest of the boarding nice process, little, but nice we do ask tailwind. that laptops, tablets, uh, and any other larger electronic devices are stored once you depart from the gate. Thank you, and welcome aboard. Keep that as is. We want all the power because we want to hear all the sound. We'll do flaps five today, so that'll give us 38, 40, 48. 48 is uh, set. Get this one on. Get that one on. It's the master. Cool. Um, we'll just use that same same squawk. We don't have anybody on. Um, other than that, we're just about ready to go. Um, cool. uh, switch over to APU. Um, here. Move. I think we can go to that. Let's call the tug. Uh, better push back. Start push back. Hey, Captain, let me know where you want this thing. Right here. Not an inch more. Right there. Great news, Captain. Your toe's coming. Cool. Perfect. Am I a VAT sim? I hope so. No, I'm not. Hold on. Connect. Uh, we are 1259. 1259. Nine. Airline. Yeah. Should be now. Perfect. Hey, Mike. Uh, someone that has been. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome, dude. Just a part of Manila. Very nice. Got to keep them engines alive. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth, man? Um, let's go here. Remove. Let's go. Midway Tower. No, there's nothing for us. Um, let's go to Sam. All right. Looks like the doors and hatches are closed, and we're ready to connect. We are trying to connect 1259 pushing back off Kilo 13 Chicago. Here we go. Stop. 
stop the plane. I didn't do my checklist. Pushback checklist. Doors are closed. Um, hydraulic panel. Wow, look at me trying to rush. Hydraulic panel set. Fuel panel. Wow, I am just screwing up royally this time. Is set. Flight deck door closed and locked. And transponder is set to transponder. Pushback checklist complete. There we go. Wow. Man, I screwed that one royally. We'll go here. Auto brakes to RTO. We are ready to go when you are. Five six now. Okay. Let me switch it. Switch it up. Thank you. Must to uh... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard flight five, six. twelve fifty nine with service Can't to get a Washington D.C. Dude, Trent. Time well, will first be first foremost, Trent. What's going on, big dog? How are you? Um. Cabin doors for now me, closed. it's hit or miss. Um, sure it's completely hit or miss. In, in Charlotte, where we just left, it came back with me till the jet bridge couldn't go no more. Um, some of them, the some of them work when I put the brake off, when I do the beacon, departure. all of them. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's a complete hit or miss for me. When do I run the check? Bro, I've been running a checklist for about a month now. In all, in all seriousness, about a month now. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, for the 73, I've got a, a legitimate. I can't Thank tell you where I got it from, but I've got a Hello legitimate 73 uh, checklist. It's time to get you ready for takeoff. Uh, let's go here. We know you have lots of choices, so thanks for choosing American. We're happy to be your airline. Perfect. Now, if you'll just follow along with me, we'll be on our way. Welcome aboard. Before we depart, here are some important safety instructions. Got that. Spool it up. It's first doing its first, job. Let's buckle We're just about spouse. done here. Go ahead and Insert set your parking brake. Into the buckle and pull the strap to tighten. To open, simply lift on the top of the buckle. And we're disconnecting the toe. Give and me just remember, a moment. Yeah, be man. So I, as, as long as I've had it, about a month, I printed it off, got it laminated, to get well, us on our way, stole one of the sure warden's laminator all things, and I've been running this checklist like it's my job. If you have a carry-on, push it all the way under the seat in front of you. Absolutely. If it, won't fit, it just shows a gray airplane, any paywear scenery. Um, do you have, do you have Sam 3, like the most updated one? Because that, that's kind of what, what I, I noticed helped a little more. Now, I don't know when they work the most. With, the $20 or smoke detectors in so the we both, yeah, yeah basically, um, I have Sam, Sam 3. And we're disconnected. Signal and pin on the right. Take it easy and have a safe flight. Sometimes it works. Um, sometimes it doesn't. From what I've read on the forums... It's more so if the developer themselves put Sam the or one. AutoGate or Keep nothing. Mind, so if they put AutoGate, you. Sam is not going to work. If they put Sam, AutoGate's not going to work. If they didn't put anything, ain't nothing going to work. Um, so that, that's kind of what I when got exit, from the org forms, from the which is kind of stupid. It should Some be like they all work. Also be used as a raft, but, except those yeah, over the wings. Ain't You'll nothing more than a pain in the padded, the, a pain this in the padded. This aircraft is designed with speed. escape lighting on or near the floor. A sign will indicate you have reached your exit. In the event of an evacuation, escape path lighting will appear. Oh. Follow the lights until you've reached your exit. Leave all carry-ons behind. Just head quickly and safely to the nearest exit. And don't forget, it may be behind you. I was you. like, wait a minute. There we go. Now, if the airplane loses pressure, oxygen masks will drop automatically. You gotta automatically. start this puppy back up. Once again, started fasten, rushing, didn't follow my own checklist. To extend the tubing. The yellow cup goes over your nose and mouth like so. That's a start. Then slip the band over your head to secure the mask to your face. What runway? Uh, 10 left. 10 left. Left. Gamble? No, it's not oxygen. working for and some remember, reason. I think, um, I think Streamlabs took the night off. Life vests are located either under or next to your seat. To remove the vest, pull the tab or we'll follow the 903 out, the so that's fine. For help locating them, uh, now we've got a good card. start, so we'll remove go after start checklist. From the package like this. Put the vest over your head. Um, Wrap the strap check around list. your waist. Attach the buckle Generators and pull tight. Once outside, is on. pull the tab to uh, anti -ice your vest is or off. blow into the red tube on the side. Panel is set. In the water, a light Recall. on your vest will illuminate. And please, only check. inflate Auto your vest outside the airplane. Auto brakes are RTO. After start checklist complete, now, we have the, we've gotten our signal, gotten the device. bird. We'll Just go text checklist flaps. And put your arms through the straps found on the opposite side. 
So we the crew have five, will now be coming around to do a final cabin check. Five After green takeoff, light, we'll pull back or, uh, for takeoff speed. And if you need anything, we're looking at 38, 40, 48, As always, we're set. Make your great. Uh, thrust so great is, is takeoff. Stab trim. We should set that, don't you think? Uh, now that our, our pumps are on. If we can. Huh. Um, perf. Let's go. What did I miss? Make sure there's no boxes. Um, Chicago traffic, Jet Blue 227, taxi in 10 left, Alpha 13, Bravo 1 November. Chicago traffic. We're ready for departure. Interesting. Um, why? And we can switch that to 49. Why? Why, why, why? Um, we should have a trim in there, but it won't set. Um, we did, what, 5.75 on the last one. So we'll we'll guesstimate on this one. Um, probably going to kill ourselves, but we'll go here to Boeing because I just downloaded the new updated version. There, cool. And we'll get out of here. Uh, Taxi light coming on. Streamlabs is on it. Ah, oh, he really is. Little weasel. Get those sounds going. This is what I wish the level up sounds were. Uh, FBI rated Streamlabs. They probably did. Them or uh, what you call it, YouTube, said no more gambling. Dude's out here making a huge profit. Uh, taxi 20 9. gonna go oh boy uh alpha 19 let me write this down myself alpha 19 bravo um i'm here traffic that's 2395 parting for only nine right and it works in departure to the east alpha 15 uh, november okay cool there it is all right let's get out of here Chicago traffic united 1259 is gonna be taxiing alpha 19 bravo alpha 15 november down to one zero left in Chicago. Cool. All right, there we go. Oof. Yeah, do like Streamlabs, quite honestly. If he don't show up on the next day, he's fired. Like, we can't be out here not making no money. I mean, <clears throat> having some fun. <laughs> like, dude, we out here to make money, man. Buy bust operation, pretty much. Pretty much. Going to be landing in Denver soon, gusting 40. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we're going to come out here. We'll swing this. Uh, what do you say? Recently flown from the new rotate. So far, I, did, I didn't I did get any issues. Definitely better. Still needs some work. From the way it looks, it's like the MD-80. That's awesome. Buggy at first, but fixed with updates. That's what I like. That's what I like to hear. So as long as we can, you know, get the uh, updates that it deserves... I'm okay with it, right? You know, I, I don't necessarily care as long as it, as they're willing to get the updates out. Cool. So that'll bring us to our next question here. That'll bring us to our next question. What is going on here, dude? Oh, I thought those were like police officer lights. I was kind of scared. You think you're behind me? What's your call sign? What's your call sign? Oh, what do 
you doing? They, they should have taught you this, man. Like, dude, you, you definitely, I mean definitely, shouldn't cut off an airplane. 877, let me take a look. Uh, help keep those three precious girls fed. Oh, you're, dude, you're too freaking awesome. Yeah, if you guys want some merch, some swag, some, we out here dripping swag, ooh, uh, some shack swag, by all beats. I highly, highly suggest you check it out. Um, yeah, 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 see, he knows, the 26 ounce mug. I know a few people got them. Some got a hoodie, some got this, some got that. I highly recommend you all get it. All right, once we get this little passerby, we'll do our taxi checklist. Zotto said uh, one of their best planes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Like, how could you just not love this this thing, dude? He said double fisting. <laughs> All right, so taxi checklist. We'll come down here. Flaps are five. And we also have them right here. Five green light takeoff speeds are 39, 41, 49 set. Thrust is takeoff. Uh, let's see. Stab trim, 5.75. And flight controls. I'm out here doing the taxi checklist. What an idiot. What an idiot. Oh, boy. Fatigue. That's a threat. Fatigue. Runway position. So let's do a taxi or before takeoff checklist now. How about that? Sorry. Uh, before takeoff, okay, runway to 10 left okay. outside, okay. inside, okay. we're taxiing runway 10 left outside. Flaps 5, 5, green light. Uh, navigational briefing, we did go over that. Uh, runway heading, we'll get our uh, we'll get our vector in after 400 feet, probably after about 1,000 or so. Uh, we'll start turning, we'll flip it over to the LNAV. Um, auto throttles, and take, uh, auto throttles can now get armed. Takeoff, takeoff warning, excuse me, was checked. Engine start switches will come up here. We'll get that to continuous. Transponder will now come on, all the way on. And flight attendants will ding those at the end of the row. Actually, no. Before takeoff checklist complete. I'm gonna call it and do the MD. Ooh, there you go. I want to do another MD low flight. I'm gonna just do Can one leg in the 300. There you go. Nice. I I think personally. If the MD-11 gets the work that it deserves, I think it could be up there in the I&I &I levels of, of airplanes. Like, to me, I&I &I is the creme de la creme of, of airplanes. Like, the Z, it's like I&I &I and Zeebo. Like, I don't think they're, one is better than the other. I think it's like that. So you got one and one A. Um, if you want to put the Zeebo first, if you want to put the I&I &I first, to each their own. I think those two, right here. Bam. Um, and then you have the Rotate MD-80. Um, for me, I think it would start trickling down to like the Tolis airplanes. Um, and then you would get like the Flight Factor 75, 76, and then you could piece it however you want. That's just my list. I don't, you know, everybody has their own. But I think if, if the MD-11 gets the love, the concern that it, that it deserves, it very well could be up there for... Uh, 1A, 1B. Max, that, that's another one. Dude, that's another one. Like, I, I genuinely, genuinely got a lot of love for the Max. There's 887, uh, but you're in the dirt, bro. I see you. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a lot of love for the Max. Like, when I, and I say, like, Max, Level Up, Zebo, they're, to me, they're all kind of in that same freeware. They all take parts from one them on the other you know what I'm saying like so it, to me they're kind of like this one in the same um, I don't see him so let me let me just stop we might we definitely have different scenes uh, nice planes are a prime example of high yeah MD-11 has potential it just needs bug updates yep 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 I agree I think if they do all that stuff we'll be all right we will be all right the Max is a Zebo on steroids. You think so? I think with version six it will be. Um, right now, I think it's it's the Ma it's the Zebo that's in the steroid cabinet. Like they're they're in the they're in the right neighborhood, just wrong house. Oh, I think that's a 
Looks like a 300 maybe? Yeah, it's it's definitely a 300. You can tell by the sloped tail. And there goes Pete. Who is the submarine? Um, somebody said they were 887. That is Stephen S. He's out here flying the USS 887. Or 877. Beginning to love the SSG? Me too. I don't care what nobody says. Um, you know, I know some people, some streamers, some, some non-streamers have absolutely trashed that plane. Um, and that's fine. You know, that's their own opinion. I think... I think before before the whole community writes off an airplane, I think before a whole airline write, or a whole community writes off an airplane, they should try it. You know, don't just take what I say or this person or that person. You know, buy it yourself. I understand you might not be financially able to f to buy it, but you know, don't just sit here and say, "Oh, I'll never buy it because X Y Z said no." Um, you know, X Y Z said this. Buy it and try it before you sit here and rip it a new one. Stealth plane, I know. I know. Uh-oh. Where'd he go? Uh, there he goes. Awesome. Once again, I'm going to say this rotate has potential. It definitely does. Definitely, definitely does. I like the MD-11. I truly do. I just can't land it. Not like, oh, I have a bad landing rate. No. I can't get the ILS to capture is my problem is great which uh real let down on textures i it can be improved yeah yeah i i think i can agree with that um but i, I also say this um i don't ever i never thought of i never thought of tolis to have world-class textures on any of their airplanes um I think the 319 is the best because it's the first of its of its brand, so they've probably put more in, into it than any other airplane that they have. Um, but I, I never thought any any texture-wise of, of Tolis was like, oh my goodness, like that's just me. Um, I mean, for one, without the engine mod from Carter Jewel, the engines were bad. They were they were all right. You know, you knew what they were. You knew it was either IE or CFM. But if they had the Carter Jewel engines from the jump, shoo, shoo. But yeah. All right, he's on the center runway. Here he goes. Awesome. I will catch you guys in uh, Washington. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take off and we're going to fly towards downtown. Uh, I want to see downtown as we depart. So that that's what we'll do. We'll take off. We'll make our way downtown. And um, yeah, then we'll then we'll go on the proper heading. We'll, we'll get up out of here. But yeah, and another plane I think is like that, um, and I'll say this before I go into it, I'm going to say I think the airplane is worth its mo its money, um, is the Magnite. Um, from what it was, oh boy, I wouldn't fly it on your computer, but to what it is now, um, my longest flight in the whole in my, in my whole entire sim, career, uh, journey, whatever you want to call it, my whole longest flight was in the Magnite 787. Um, 21 hours, 44 minutes, I did Project Sunrise. Um, I personally think the Magnite is worth 50 bucks. If you buy an airplane and you want it to look like a Dreamliner, you've got it. The Magnite is a stunning looking airplane. If you want to uh, buy an airplane to take off from one side of the world and land on the other, Magnite's your plane. If you are buying a, a Magnite to sit here and think I have some world class 787 that can mimic this, simulate that, don't even try it. Like, you're going to be let down, and you just pissed away 50 bucks. But if you want one that absolutely looks like it, then I think the Magnite is for you. Um, yeah. Yeah. It just needs, it, like like I, uh, like I was saying, it's $50 worth. It needs some work, but it will it will get you where you need to be. If you want to take off from New York and land in Hong Kong, Magnite's your plane. If you want to take off in London, land in Sydney, Magnite's your plane. If you want to sit here and mimic everything down here in the FMC, Magnites ain't for you. That's 
that's my opinion. Um, but yeah. Uh, Magnite isn't bad. Yeah, it just needs a custom FMC. T Mac, what's going on, big dog? Laptop crashed. Is it getting on the? Is it getting uh, overheated? You're on the way. Perfect. 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 We're we're almost almost ready to take off. Almost. He said, "Bruh." Yeah, traffic. You get by R2. getting and. I thought about buying it a bunch of times, but I heard a lot of bad things about the Magnite. Clouds at 5,000, turn strobes off. Okay. So we'll go... Okay, they're off right. Mine are off right now. Um, updating your GPU? Huh. That's not good. Um, cleared by 7? Okay, cool. So we'll keep, we'll keep them off. We'll keep them on, turn them off, get them on. How about that? Um, by 7,000. Perfect. Thank you. Take weather over here. And I believe I just have to flip the switch, right? Or no, I don't think you have to do anything with the weather. Um... No, not on th not on this one because these aren't model. I think it's if you just click the button, it'll work. Uh, there he goes. Chicago traffic. UP or American. Twelve fifty nine. Gonna be lining up. One zero left. Chicago. All right. So we'll get him on. When we take off, we'll turn him off. You slapped your laptop. Now it's never gonna work. See how we did. Eh, that's not too bad. That's a stunning photo, though. Oh, my. Nate, bro, it's been uh, been a while. Still doing 12-hour days. Work four days a week. Oof, my goodness. Nate, what's going on, sir? Welcome aboard. Hopefully, whatever it is that you're doing for work is treating you well. Hopefully, you're uh, reaping the benefits of those long, probably daunting hours. But welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's been a minute, bro. All right, we'll give him just a second, and then we'll get up out of here. Uh, once we get, we'll count to 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 28, 29, 30. Here we go. I think I'm at that that perfect, like legitimately that perfect one. Let's bring the 
goes down just a smidge. Alright, here we go. Through the clouds, we'll hand it over. Flaps up one. Oh. There we go. Those off. We're at four. Let's keep climbing. Seven oh, yeah, three seven oh was our cruise. Go, go, go. Seven oh. Perfect. Oh, uh, so your end one's a red line. Yeah, we should have used a D rate. I forgot how long this runway was. Dang near thirteen thousand feet, so we definitely could have derated out of this one. Next time. We'll we'll do it next time. Alright. Uh, we'll come up here. There. Uh, we'll wait till we get through the clouds before I start messing with engines, right? That's what I'll, I'll do. I'll uh, we'll get you off, you off, you off, you off. The wheel well, no need to light that up. Um, flaps up one, or excuse me, flaps all the way up, sorry. Um, so that's fine. 230, looking good. There goes Chicago. Do I watch air? Yes. Yes, I do. Smooth takeoff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And let's see. Flip this over. D-rated 2K. Uh, 91. I, th I don't, I think, I know I didn't use any D-rate. Um, and I think I used just about everything this old bird had. Uh, did I ever show up for a I heard you, but I didn't see you. Heard you, but didn't see you for too long. We'll seize the engine. We'll have to try that sometime. <laughs> we'll have to test that one. Um, no, we won't do that. But thank you. Thank you for the tidbit. I appreciate that. Um, look at screenshots. All right, give me a second here. We'll, we'll look at that. Um, let's finish up this, and we'll, we'll do what we've got to do. Uh, we're out of the clouds, so we'll go back up. Gentlemen, we have now passed uh, 2,000 feet. We may turn on larger portable electronic devices. Landing gears up, off, taxi, auto, engine boost, excuse me, engine boost, are on. This aircraft is equipped with onboard Wi-Fi. If you wish to connect to the Wi-Fi, you will be required to pay a small fee. We do offer complimentary in-flight TV. Corey, what's going on, boss? There's two. Connect to the Wi-Fi to find out more information. This is how I check if we've got a smooth flight right here to watch. Wings aren't moving, smooth flight. So, seatbelt sign can now come off. We're just past the 10. The seatbelt sign. Now that I've been around the cabin, however, we have to keep the seatbelt fastened when you did in case of unexpected There. Really nice thing on Hong Kong. There's uh, Rich right here. Beautiful. Got the nice strobe going on. Beautiful shots, dude. Can you let me know when it's a good time for me to enter the flight deck? You can enter it right now. Uh, hold on. Let me just unlock the door. Shut the camera off. Uh, you are good to enter now. So give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. I uh, got a negative 17 uh, minute accidentally, the plane doesn't want to go up. We want to to consider it a landing. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Not an aviator card member? See a flight attendant and receive an exclusive offer when you apply in flight today. Shortly, we will begin oh, our it's Manila, service. sorry. Sorry about that. We offer that. a selection of complimentary beverages. Wi-Fi service is available on this flight. Connect to the AA in-flight signal and open your browser. You can access AA.com free of charge to view flight connections and other travel information. 
If you need to power your device, AC power outlets are located at every seat. While you are seated, please keep your seatbelt fastened and visible to the crew when the seatbelt sign is on, as turbulence can happen unexpectedly. If you open an overhead compartment, use caution. Yo, as Rich, what's items going on, bro? During How takeoff. are you? How the heck are you, my guy? Uh, let's come up here. Get the wing light off. Hold on, let me uh, turn my fan down more. I think you guys can hear it. Uh, the Mega Manila scenery. Um, the, uh, there's a freeware Mega Man Mega Manila. It's it's amazing. This one. So anybody looking for arguably one of the best freewares out there, check that link. So next week, let me look, hold on. Next week, we're going to be doing uh, Jeddah to Dubai. Uh, somebody wanted a, a Dubai trip. And I remembered I had a, a good Jeddah scenery that I bought with points. Never, never used, so that's like the perfect time to try it. So we'll take, uh, probably fly Dubai out. Right? Uh, but we'll fly to Dubai. And uh, maybe the following week we'll do something different. Like we'll try to do like one one a week where we're like not doing a career, like the quote unquote career mode or anything like that. We'll just fly around to certain places, you know, all around the world, and we'll just have fun. So next week is uh, Dubai. Maybe the week after we go to Manila. All as well, standard, perfect. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, hopefully, Oof, okay, I did. I was kind of nervous. I was like, I hope to goodness I started this thing. Like, if I didn't, I'd have been sick. Heading out. Oh, there it is. Mike's. Look at this one. That's gorgeous. Coming out at night. Oof. That. Stunning. Uh -oh. Would you please identify yourself to a flight attendant? Passenger Escobar, please. <laughs> Escobar. Interesting. Interesting. Ready, ready, ready. Oh, I can turn the camera back on. My wife left. There we go. Perfect. So we have Escobar. I'm telling you, his stinking shenanigans. I don't know what this guy's got going on over here, but let me tell you. Keep the shenanigans to a minimum, sir. Just gonna skate right on by. Uh, we'll just skate right by all the uh, ATC tonight. Let me know if the music is too loud. I will turn it down. Start. Whoops. There, we'll start there. Let me know if that's too loud, too quiet. I know, this dude, he never not gets special. Like, I need to understand, like, is he a million miler? Like, what is, what is this guy got that we can't have? Like, I want to know, because if he's getting all these special meals, especially on an hour flight, I have never been on a flight with a meal for an hour. So, Please, enlighten me 
hunt, what it is you get, because I need that same treatment. Matter of fact, I need better treatment. I'm the pilot. How does, how? Like, what? Oh, Lord. It'd be cool if you could put the shades down. That. Climbing up to four zero, we're looking good. Um, now, let me let me keep an eye out on these winds here. Let's check the lot to what it is now. Um, zero four zero. Eleven, so. Runway one is looking like that. Uh, so. I think. Yeah, the Mount Vernon visuals basically just coming straight down the pipe. Right here. Like it will, will somehow somewhere vector ourselves out instead of going this way for the river we'll come out this way and then literally come straight down the pipe for runway one uh, which is kind of cool because it's going to be nighttime so we'll get a nice little glimpse of you know all the stuff right here i think over here is a casino you know, in real life i think somewhere along these lines is a casino uh, so we'll see all that we'll look at both sides and yeah that's what we're Oh, that's Andrews. Oh, let's, let's stay away. Ah, uh, well, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. Someone should write an entire night. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, dude. Like, it's crazy the deals that this man has for bar kids. Emmanuel, what's going on, man? Yeah, I love this thing. Right I can just imagine that's, that's probably like ungodly loud. Sorry. Let me turn that down for you guys. DC, yeah, it is a casino. It definitely is. <laughs> Maybe we're thinking of the same, like the same pun, but uh, yeah, it, it uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. It definitely is. All right, we've got one more vote for the night, guys. We've got one more vote. Hold on. Check that out. Go ahead and take your vote. Cast your votes. There. Man, we're voting all night long here. There's, no, there's not even an age restriction. There. Have all, by all means, have at it, my friends. Dirt leg? Man, if I could, I would. Believe me, if I could, I would. Um, what, uh, what, we're, what I'm asking you is for... Uh, for Thursday. So Thursday is the event into Boston. Um, so I want to ask you guys, would you rather see some UPS or some American? I'm open to either or. Those are the two career, career Let's Play Pilot series we got. So far, they're doing pretty darn good. We're having some fun. I know I'm learning some things. So hopefully you guys are taking away something for your simulator experience. Um, but nonetheless, would you rather see some cargo ops into Boston? Boston's going to be crazy come Thursday. Or would you rather see some passengers? Um, totally up to you. And uh, what we'll also plan for uh, is Friday. And then I'm off. I'm out of here. I got to go back to work on Saturday. Got to go way back to work, sling some bags, marshalling some planes. You know what's crazy? I've actually become a bad slinging wizard. I've learned to sling two bags. It's all within, it's all like that. It's like the, uh, the, like when you lift weights and you do cleans, like you'll, whoop, you'll pop your wrist and your shoulders and all that, you do it backwards and I'll sling two bags quicker than I'll get up. They're like, how'd you do that? Don't worry about it. That's called effectiveness, my friend, effectiveness. I work, I work the same hours, I just do less work than you. Friday is skiing, Denver, Salt Lake, man, oops, sorry, those are some cool, like, Boston, Denver, Salt, I don't even know where to fly, I have no idea, you can message me if you're having problems, 
uh, with how the plane operates. All I need to know is just what's the proper way to get set up for the ILS. Um, I could do a majority of it. Um, I, and I found out that that little bug that happened on the last stream, why it wouldn't go to nav. It was because it, it we I didn't do the turnaround state or not turn I didn't restart the sim so this plane or that plane I should say that plane cannot do a turnaround um, it has to legitimately be restarted um, which kind of sucks because somebody said it the, the other day it takes away from that immer immersion and I couldn't agree more like the Zebo, a lot of other planes you can do this do that um, and then fire it back up in a turnaround state that one not so much but nonetheless, um, I just can't figure out why, how it won't grab a glide slope, localizer glide slope like that. So a woman doing workouts to make herself a better flight attendant, doing cleans, all kind of things, so she can lift heavy bags, the overheads, shoving people. Wow, what? <laughs> Who does she work for? Like that's amazing. Like most flight attendants are like, let me make sure my makeup is on point. This girl said, try me. My right hook is working. Like, oh, you need that bag? Whoop. Like, oh, I pick stuff up and put it down. Oh, boy. That's crazy. Climbing 32 for 37. Uh, we've got about 50 minutes left, which is perfect. Um, so, with that being said, we have some time. Let me run to the lab. Um, I have been pinching this one since about, I don't know, coming over Cincinnati and we're not even going that way so give me a minute let me run to the restroom let me snack some water uh, please <laughs> please make sure this plane don't fall out the sky it shouldn't Skylar is sleeping she's the only person we need to start squawking for uh, so I will be right back
moments our lovely flight attendants will be starting our in-flight service. We'll be serving complimentary drinks and snacks. Premium drinks are available for a small charge. Please note we only accept credit cards. Righty, oh that felt way better. I feel more aerodynamic. I could probably run a 4440. I'm telling you, would be a shit. Oh, dude, it'd be horrible if that engine caught on fire. I don't know what. I I'd probably just end the stream. You said it'd be horrible. Oh yeah, it would. Oh look, there's one. There's two. Shame, yeah, it would. Oh boy, yeah, it would. Right, hit load flight, knocked out, uh, knocked out my chair, woke up. Oh my gosh, <laughs> knocked out my chair. Oh boy, hopefully, you don't have a stiff neck. Those be the worst, bro. Stiff necks, oh, I can't stand it, dude. Like, the other morning, my daughter woke me up and I don't know what I did. I just must have turned over and fell back asleep. But I woke up. I thought my neck was ran over by a train. Like, I, I was about ready to drop dead. I, I, I don't know what happened. But, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Uh, Freedom 5 is here. We're going to do both of these. So, we'll go approach. For runway 1, we'll do the localizer. And then we'll have the mount word and visual on there as well. Uh, just in case, weather might be pretty nice in DC. I haven't looked. Excuse me, 10 9. You know what would be cool? In all seriousness, if somebody made an updated DCA, like I have the Drizwecki one, that he or somebody, it don't matter who, anybody should make a new one because those those satellite terminals where you would take the bus, so if you guys ever been to DCA, where you would take the bus over to the regional jets, that's now a terminal. So 35 X ray is no longer there. Uh, I think that needs to be added, especially like be just because of the airport. Like it's it's not like oh, can you update Podung International Airport? No. Like I need you to update the nation's capital airport, please. Thank you. You're welcome. So for all of you people who have the um, mind, like who can create sceneries, if you're hearing me, I'll buy two copies to get that thing started. <laughs> please. Thank you. check weather expect the ILS uh oh hold on I think I can use this we'll go here we'll get rid of the Chicago's information we'll go o DCA um two and a half square miles okay Oh well, we're, we're gonna expect that lovely doubly ILS. Oh, Lord B. Well, la dee da. Well, 
well, fly the die, gentlemen. Oh, yipper. Um, so there it is. There's our top of descent. Uh, I'm just gonna look at some stuff. If there's any altitudes that need to be matched up here in the box, along with the charts. Bucko is 310. I'm just looking for ats. Like, not betweens, not aboves, not belows. I'm looking for strictly ats. Like, at ats, you know, at 3,000, at 7,000, so on and so forth. Um, I have a let's. Yep, that's eight. That matches. Uh, coming down this way. This one. Six. That matches. Cool. All right, yeah. Yep, we're, we're definitely going ILS on this route. This would be like, if this was real world, so say we were really flying today right now. Puerto Rican pilot, what's going on, big dog? How are you? How the heck are you? ATS? ATS? What, what about it? Um, if th this would have been like what that that last flight of the night, you know, where this plane would come in and it would be a a, a run or remain overnight. That's kind of high. Eight thirty, mm, maybe it'd go out again. Maybe if it's if it's eight thirty at Washington. Let's see. Let's take a look. If there's an eight thirty flight out of Washington on uh, on a seven three, I'm there's got to be. Here we go. Let me see. Uh, Washington, eight thirty. Oh, dude, there's there's three nineteen seven threes going out right now at Washington. Yeah, this plane would be this plane would be going to bed. Nope, 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 nope. There's an eleven forty p.m. flight. Oh, oh no, S stupid me. That was arrivals. <laughs> Whoops, stupid me. Oh boy. Uh, the last main line is Boston at 10 o'clock. Uh, that's a 319. The last 73 that went out was 810. So yeah, this plane would probably come here, go to bed. Not ATS. Eight. Uh. Ats, you like, you like ats, oh, oh, gotcha, okay, yeah, now nah, that capital don't sleep, no sir, I was, I was watching this video, so here's a little fun fact, somebody can fact check me or correct me if I'm wrong, but there's like a law or a regulation, something that, that permits no, sky, no skyscrapers, um, like, Washington, if you look at uh, uh, Washington, D.C. compared to like a Chicago, Miami, Charlotte, um, you know, Atlanta, they all have skyscrapers, right? Like, but in Washington, it's relatively flat. Like, there is some tall buildings, but I, it's like a law or a regulation or, or maybe it's like a unwritten rule. But yeah, there's no sky, like, name a skyscraper in Washington. When I heard that, I was like, hmm. yeah. So yeah. Uh, like at 3,000. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I, I literally read that. I was like, hmm, okay. Like I don't know why, but I thought it was pretty cool. Just thought it was like a cool little like not every. And let, it's probably like if you if you live there, you probably know why. I don't know why. I, I 
have no idea. But it's like, huh, interesting. Very interesting. Oh, it's correct? Sweet. There it is. See? I knew I could listen on YouTube pretty well. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. on the ground DCA got my ADC lights I uh, will uh, get you guys in here really you pull up your job so sweet so sweet 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 local orders that buildings the buildings higher than the Washington monument so it's visible so the Mason's eye overlooks the entire capital ah okay well there's your answer Huh. I don't know if I want I don't know if I want some mason looking over me. Oh well. There, let's see. Man, that's so weird. Like and I, I've said this before, but like at least on, on my screen over here, like when I'm looking at what gets projected out to you guys, my my screen look my screen, my screen. My screen looks pretty straight, um, looks pretty center, but for me, this is center. Um, when I look at my my monitor, this is center. But yeah, anyway, I'm impressed by your sharpened skill set, Captain. You no longer get on an aircraft; you wear it. Man, Nathan, that made my freaking day, bro. Thank you. Like truly, I, I uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like not just be, like I, I have legitimately been trying, um, trying to provide content that flight simmers can can take away and apply to their own. I call them sessions, like a, a sim session. Um, you can apply it to your own simulator. I, I really appreciate that. Like I, I have picked pilots' brains. I have watched videos over and over and over and over again. Um, to not just but oh yeah I could push this button and that and that and this like I want to explain to people like to the best of my knowledge right and if I don't know it I will find a, I will find an answer I will ask I will do whatever it may be but um, just try to own the airplane like I want to put that airplane where I want to put that airplane um, I want to give you guys content let's not just oh let's hop in act like we're a pilot like that's why this thing is called let's play pilot I am not a, a airline pilot I am not type rated in this plane but I will play on this simulator as if I am from the knowledge that I, I gain and progress. So I appreciate you that you, you recognize that. Thank you. Truly, truly, truly. Made my freaking night, dude. I was wrong, but at the top of the mind, it says, Laos Dios or praise, to, or praise be to God. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Well, I'll have to look into that some more definitely will. I've had a feeling you could grease that some and you're heading to Washington. It's been a while since you flew there, but it has a good runway. Um, we actually greased the river visual not too long ago. Um, check this out. So let me pull up uh, YouTube and let's change the song because this is one of them songs that are going to put me to sleep. Like we about to go into Washington. We, we've got to step up the game here. Um, I find this video it would be uh, where videos this one um, this one I actually caught a greaser on the river visual I, I was impressed myself I thoroughly was, so we'll probably go to about here, 
amazing landing. Oh, we don't want to. We don't want to hear myself. Sorry. Or at least I don't. Um, This bad boy up on the big screen. Uh, we'll go here. You know what? Forget it. Here. <laughs> this, this area. We're still gonna mute myself. Uh, there. So it wasn't flown perfectly. I think I came a little to the left a little bit. Um, but we'll get to the cool part. Make this turn up here. Uh, I just want to this. There we go. This is where it gets fun. Make the turn. There's some buildings. Over here is like the Pentagon and stuff like that. The Pentagon. Yeah, see, look. Look at how flat Washington is. Like, it, it's legitimately flat. Look at that. There we go. Go over here. Make that turn. Then it gets boring for a minute. Blah, 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 blah. Coming on in, make this turn. We've got two whites, two reds. Kind of correct it up a little bit here. you have it. Um, and this is what it looked like. So we'll watch like that that final turn. And then we'll have to get we'll have to get back to it because we, we've got to fly our own airplane. I was gonna say don't love but I'm telling you dude. Uh, I just realized like man that 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 uh, that music whew. nice beat awfully uh yeah Picking up some uh, precipitation on the weather radar. All right. Yep. After this, we'll have to start getting getting kind of ready. Look at that Astro Jet livery. Oh, baby. Ah, look at the face. Yeah, buddy. But yeah, that was the greaser we caught. So hopefully, we can replicate that. Get a greaser on the other side. Um, let's get that back on here. Not me, huh? Interesting. And I have X and Viro, um, so I mean, it, it should it should replicate it pretty decently. But heck of I know. You guys want to land in the pitch black like this? Uh oh. Oh, there's a buffer. I just saw it. Daggone it. I hope it hasn't been doing this this whole time. Hold on. Let me look at my phone. Hold on. I hope my, my stream hasn't been doing this all night long. If you guys want to land at this pitch black uh, weather, or not weather, pitch black time, I don't mind. I, I don't mind flying in the night. If you would like to see, you know, maybe a little more daylight, like, like if we land at this time, I could, I could adjust it. But you let me know. Um, whatever you guys want to see, I'll, I'll replicate it. Um, but yeah, I personally think it would be cool to land here at night. We haven't done it. It's light. Uh, you're ahead of you. Perfect. 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 
Uh, Mike, what's going on, sir? Boys night? There you go. Hopefully you had a good night. Hopefully you had a great night. You're never late. No, it's all right, my friend. Hopefully all is well. Hopefully you had a fun night. We're inbound to Reagan. We're going back to Reagan. Uh, we're going to go do... The weather's pretty cruddy. Last I checked right here. We'll give it a... Oh, just... A, okay, good. Well, it's not good, but hopefully it gets a little better. Um, weather kind of sucks. Only since the replay? Okay. Well, we'll, we'll never do that again. Um, so we're going to do the ILS-1. I wanted to do the Mount Vernon visual, but that's just simply not going to happen. But welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Got some homemade tea. I looked on YouTube how to make real tea. Uh, you guys know the show Duck Dynasty. Live under a rock if you don't. But Sai, he makes tea, like homemade tea. I followed his recipe, just add sugar, because he don't like sweet tea. He's a nut. Um, yeah. It's amazing. Like, legitimately. Dark and scary? All right, let's do it. We'll roll with the dark. I don't mind. I think it would be cool. So that means on what looks to be, uh, let's take a look. What looks to be Thursday, we'll be flying some more American. We'll pick up as a, a early morning departure. So it'll be an early morning departure out of, well, not early, like a morning departure. Maybe like 10 or 11, something like that. 10 or 11 uh, in the morning. We'll fly up to Boston. Boston to somewhere. We'll call it a day. How about that? And then we'll get ready for the weekend where I don't stream. Because <laughs> I got to go make some money. Got to keep these kiddos fed is all. All right. So come down here. I just want to start getting ready. We're getting there. Top of the sense coming up. Um, this page. 78 miles. All right, cool. So if we go to fix, we'll go K, D, C, A. This is just for like my own, like my own personals. Uh, 30 miles, I want to be 10,000 dash 30. Or in that ballpark. Like, I don't want to be 30 miles and 22,000. 30 miles, about 10,000 feet. Uh, 10 miles, I want to be right around that 3,000 foot. Uh, 10. And then at 3 miles, I need to be fully locked and loaded. Uh, we're ready to go. You know, seats in butt, all that. So that's that's what I kind of judge myself on. 30 miles in that area, you know, that 10,000. Between 8 and 12, um, I like to be. Uh, 3 miles, or 10 miles, excuse me. I want to be, you know, um, plus or minus, you know, 4 to four to 5, or, you know, between 3 and 5,000 in that, in that ballpark. Um, 3 miles, like, there ain't nothing more left but to do it. <laughs> um, had a great time? Awesome. That's what I like to hear. Visibility, four statue miles. Yikes. Uh, mist, clouds broken, 600. Overcast, 4,700. Disgusting. 298. 2980. Okay. Washington has runway lights. I wonder how you're going to land there when it's dark. Um, we'll have to find out. You have activity? Uh oh. Whatever that is. All right, new song, new song. We're getting back to that sleepy nonsense, sorry. I was, I was kind of like, bob my head, I was like, man, if I bob my head one more time, I'm gonna fall asleep. Look at that sunset up. The sun's still up somewhere over there. On the horizon, what do you think's over there, where the sun is? St. Louis? Sorry to who I almost rear-ended. Um, I don't think it's me. No. There's somebody there behind us. Um, there's someone there. There's someone there. It's not me, though. So, Ooh. we'll take that. Uh, let's get another VAT sim check. Make sure that nobody has gotten out. Still nothing. That's fine. Still nothing. 27 minutes. That's all right. Yeah, now nah, we can't fall asleep, dude. As much as I like to you like to hang out with you guys, you know, I don't want to have a sleepover on my stream. So you guys got to go to your bed, not go to mine. How about that? I use four to five. 
4.5 for landing config, 10 for approach, established. Uh, then altitude, uh, 1,000 times 3, plus, plus 10 for estimated top of descent. And then altitude, divide by 1,000 times 3 for estimated top of descent. Gotcha. Okay. 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 Let me, I'm going to write that down, actually. I, I, that's a, like a darn good tidbit. Thank you. How you doing tonight, my guy? Hopefully you're doing just fine. Uh, living the dream, right? I know I am. Also, guys, do me a favor. If you haven't done so already, uh, please smash down that like button for me. Let's try to hit 60 likes tonight. 60 likes is the goal. Let's see if we can't do it. We're showing 50, uh, 50 f at my end, 55. So if you haven't done so, smash down that like button for me you'll greatly help me out we'll smash a goal and we'll keep this fun train rolling well it's fun flight we're not on a train and what did i say um uh, 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 eight thousand so we'll just bug in eight thousand because we until we get to let's l-e-t-z-z um all of my all of my altitudes are betweens so it's like between 27 and uh, are 31 and 27, 28, 24. So as long as we can get down to 8,000 at Let's, we'll be all right. Perfect. Not bad. Uh, just hopped in a bit late. Hey, not a worry. Okay, cool. That's it's not perfect, but if you miss uh, your FC Thompson, it will let you get. It'll get you down. That's all I needed to know. You know, I, I appreciate. You know, that's that's the thing. Like what you just said is what I now know, and then I could also practice you know put that that preaching into practice and hopefully maybe there's somebody else who's like hmm, how this why that how you know this that and the third try this tidbit right so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to abide by that uh 4.5 miles um basically we're ready to go landing config everything uh 10 miles will be a uh, final approach uh established so we've got that so far uh, we're doing good on this, so we'll, we'll abide by the top of descent right here. But um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna try that for sure, for sure. Now let's get some things going here. Um, we'll close out this visual chart because we're definitely not gonna do it. Um, get rid of that one. So. this we'll say uh, if, if visual if uh, let's see if, if the visibility is four and a half miles right I think that's what it said visibility four miles that'd be cat two would that would that classify as a cat two because I'm only asking for my minimum so it would either be 114 or 214 I think it would be 114. Um, so we'll bug in that. Frequencies. Let's see what we are working with here tonight. Zero six. So dial this all the way back. Six. We'll dial this all the way back. Six. And we'll come down here. Looking for. Okay. 
set. Cool. Let's see, it's not perfect. Expect right quartering headwind. Aw, oh, fun. We're just getting thrown all the goodies tonight. We're gonna need perfect spacing coming in the land. Yeah, we are. We're definitely, yeah, we'll, well, there's somebody, 903. Um, let me look on Volante here. Who is 903? That's Ricks, so I'm I'm definitely gonna pass Ricks. Um, we'll, we'll roll with that. We'll pass Ricks, um, and then we'll keep an eye out on the the T cast and everything like that. I believe here's somebody. So I believe that's Mike. Mike, sorry, I keep saying Mike. Um, he's he's like a non-factor. He'll be he'll be getting to his car by the time we get to the gate. <laughs> um, 903. That's I don't know. I can't do the names. Like I'm not good with names. Names. Are, I have to hear the voice. Um, but nonetheless, there's somebody. Here's somebody else. So we'll just keep an eye out. We'll make sure our spacing side. Now that doesn't mean ATC would would give you a visual. That's just a fair. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to do the visual. Uh, I'll stick to the ILS and I'll plan for a cat two. Um, each person five knots lower than each other. Um, so when I get to ten thousand, I will start. Um, has flying at night enhanced the instrument flying skills? I would say yes. You ha you almost have to rely on them 200%. Like, because, you know, I couldn't tell you right now if I was 10,000 feet off the ground or if I was 100 feet off the ground. Um, you, you literally have to rely on those things, like, more than, more than ever. Um, and we just blew past the... Uh, we only are, are high by a couple hundred feet. I just saw it. Yeah, so 400 feet. We'll catch back up, no problem. Um, and, and, and especially in the sim, because, you know, in the sim, you, you have to use, you know, one is the audio. Like, so the sounds, um, you have to use the, like, your visual references. So, like, speed, the, like, everything that you can't feel. Like, I mean, granted, when... When you're flying in the clouds, you don't know if you're going up, down, left, or right. Like he just said, spatial dis disorientation is, is crazy. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> don't mind me. Here we go. Sorry, bro. We're descending. Uh, let's turn up this volume here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it definitely will enhance it in the sim. I think it, it, it's the same thing. You know, you have to, re like I said, you have to rely on the callouts. You have to rely on, um, you know, the procedures set forth. So, if it says climb left at 5 dB, you got to do it because you can't, like, I couldn't tell you what I'm going to pass over at 5. Like, if it was a daytime, I could say, all right, well, I might pass over a bridge, and that's my five mile marker. Um, but at night, ain't no bridge in sight, boss. So you just you have to rely on those things. Um, I personally like it. You have a new mayor? Uh oh. Is it Bob Saget? Uh oh. Hopefully he's a good guy. That's no point though. But I, I like the challenge. Uh, flying at night is fun. Um, it spices it up a little bit, and especially if it's a, a realistic flight. So. You know, I know there was a flight into Washington. I think it landed like nine, something like that. So we're a little late, but hey, we're still flying at night one. My first true IFR training flight, I was like, woohoo. <laughs> we're upside down. Yeah, see, that that's what it is. Is it, It's, you know, you just don't know um, until you're out of the clouds or, you know, God forbid you're, you know, on the, on the side of a mountain. You don't know. Um, so yeah, you definitely, 
definitely have to trust the instruments in front of you. Um, hone in on that training that you that you were taught, um, the things you were you know taught. You have to stay true to those. You can't be like, "I just don't feel right, so let me try it my way." Uh uh-uh. uh uh uh. Don't try that. Do you want to try it? Come over to my house, hop in the sim, and try it. Don't don't try it outside. Oh, it worked? Awesome. You're very welcome, my friend. Let's see if I will put you in Shenandoah's. Your mind starts playing tricks on you. I started getting giddy because it was like an amusement ride. See? Yeah. That's that's what I've heard a lot from people uh, who did, are, have, will, you know, the training, the IFR training. I'm not there yet. Um, that, that's just, you know, all the stuff I've heard. But it's like, huh. Like, it's crazy how your mind does those things. Like, as intelligent as, our, you know, the, the power our brain has, it's like, whoa. <laughs> whoa, bucko. How far I trick you when you're in the clouds? Uh, I turn off your strobe. So, yeah, that's actually um, what, what um, Mike has said on takeoff, because we had clouds at 5,000, we got out of them at 7. And that's what he said, turn them off once you're in it, and then we'll turn back off. Um, so Charlotte, if, if it was an American, it'd be like Alpha 2, Alpha 4, Alpha 2, 4, 6, or any D gate, um, any D gate. So you can pick any gates on the Delta Concourse or Alpha 2, 4, or 6. Also, if you happen to be a passenger on an IFR flight, don't fall asleep you'll wake up super disorientated. Nah, I'm alright. I try not to. Like, I, I I definitely, like, I'll try to wake up before I start my descent. Like, I hate waking up and we're on our way down because I'm like, where am I? Oh, uh, whoops. Guess I shouldn't have let that toot out. Whoops, thought I was home. You know? So I just, yeah. I, I, I've been there. Not not on the, the pilot part of it yet. What's my true airspeed? My true airspeed right now is 442 in climbing. 443. 443. I can't remember what that altimeter was. 280 or 2980. If you haven't said it, uh, let's see, six, and I believe I did, but let me double check that. Zero six set, one oh nine nine set. Yep, all good, all good. Uh, let's get a dis descent checklist brewing up here. Uh, descent altimeters are two nine nine zero, or excuse me, two nine nine two, two nine nine two cross check minimums. I have 114, if I have it set, yep, 114 cross check. Landing data. Um, I'll use flat 30. I really hate landing flat 40. Um, I'm I just not good. Never, never equates for a good time. Landing data uh, is flaps 3153. I'm going to do five. Um, I can, I'm way better at keeping that zeros and fives. So. Uh, landing data approach briefing. We already know it. It's horrible weather down there where you have the ILS-1 planned for Washington. Auto brakes. Um, with the bad weather, um, the whopping 7,000 foot runway. Let's use auto brakes 3. The seatbelt signs. Let's go there. Let's come to Uh, pressurization panel. Uh, this it should start coming back here in just a second. Is no, sorry, pressurization panel. Is set recall. It's checked. There we go. 
yeah, set. There we go. Sorry, it's set. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, spook. Uh, for myself, if there's no challenge, there's no pleasure. I got management rating in early 2000s. I had one year where I logged more IFR, IMC, night. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. Handler, what's going on, big boss? How are you? Hopefully all is well. Happy Tuesday to you. Welcome aboard. We're just on our way into Washington. That's crazy, Nate. Like, I mean absolutely crazy. More night IFR. Holy crap. Holy crap. Wee. Hey, look at that. You can only see a tail. Oh, there's somebody. And it looks like, because you can see like the, like the gray, it seems like it might be like the lights from the city or a city, whatever, kind of reflecting off the clouds. Like I know with X Enviro, you do get that, you'll get that view. Like as you keep coming down and coming down, you'll see, you'll start to see some of the lights of a, of a big city, like uh, show up in the horizon off the clouds. Now I might, this may not be it, but um, it does happen in, in, with X and Viral. It's pretty cool, like when you see it. I have to point it out. Uh, let's see, let's just make sure we're on track here. That's all. Uh, we are going to Pledge. So Pledge is here. Uh, we have to be between 17 and 15 uh, for Pledge. So we're, we're on track. On track. And let me make a little call here. See who is ahead of me. American eight seven seven. Uh, what's your airspeed? Just so that way, like, I don't like, creep up on them. That, that would suck. That would suck. Green light, what's going on, good sir? Welcome aboard. Happy, what is Tuesday? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. We'll go here. We'll go wing light. I don't think we're in any clouds, so we should be all right. Now we're above them. Right? Not like I can see it. 18 between 17 and 15 look at that look at that I like when things come together perfect get my chair ready um, do we have any speed? 280 is coming back slowly but surely we'll pause the music because we're going to start hearing some more people talk like that um, so Crazy, I didn't even hear him until I said, hmm, let me turn this down a smidge, or off, I should say, and then I heard somebody. So, weird how that works. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You're ahead of me. Steve, uh, what is your airspeed? I just want to make sure I don't, like, creep up. Like, I don't want to get too close or anything like that and have you, like, come out of, like, be all out of whack. Like, I know someone's right, right behind, there's a 903. He seems to be just enough, um, uh, enough behind me so hopefully I can't I can't never tell like behind but hopefully they'll we'll keep our enough distance and we'll be able to all just come in without doing a whole slew of victor vectoring right a whole slew so top of descent for 17,000 is here uh, then we we will oh we will never forget September 11th oh, oh crap <laughs> yo dude welcome thank you holy crap man you scared the heck out of me uh, where is it right here you know it it's not welcome to it it's welcome home thank you four months of um, was that for American 1259. Indicated is 280. Thank you so much, Kenny. Right, 
appreciate you, my dude. All right, we're we're slowing down. Uh, we're now slowing down for a speed restriction of 250. So if you want to slow, just keep a fight. If you want to go five knots slower than me, that should keep our spacing up. I have no problem. Five two five zero, cool. Perfect. So if he goes two four five, um, we should Mike be check. should be just fine. From reading a uh, reading a pod and you're still flying. I'm telling you, dude. Well, here's the thing. I didn't like. I, I really wanted to do cross the pond this year, and I didn't like. I put in. I did all on my side. I did all the things I could. Put in a request for work, all that. Um, and they didn't give me the day off. So be it. You know, right? Duty calls. Had to go to work. So I, I said, you know what, instead of doing a some odd long haul, um, I just said, I'll just, you know, I'll do two longer flights. Like normally they would have been an hour or you know, I try to keep them an hour or less in between the flights, hour, 20 minutes at max. But um, I say, you know what, th we'll do two like hour 40, hour 45 minute flights, give or take. Um, and that'll kind of be like, eh, I tried. You know, I tried to make up so instead of doing just some over... Uh, overly super long haul but yeah uh you're 903 all right perfect 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 so i'm doing well i wanted to slow down we'll we'll keep an eye out on this keep an eye out i just want to make sure i don't blow right in the back here i think that's that's you i don't see another target oh. We're in the clouds. That I did see. The life of working aviation, you will never get off when you want. No, you never will. <laughs> never, ever, ever. Never will. Uh, going to focus on the butter. All right, my friend. Good luck. Good luck. I will catch you on the ground. Yeah, you'll never, you never will. I tried, right? Like I do, I was like, hmm, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I gave it an honest attempt. No. <laughs> sounds back up too. There's Let's got that. Flight Sim Brazil. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Happy It's gotta be Wednesday in your neck of the woods, right? If it is Wednesday, happy Wednesday. If it's not, happy Tuesday, because you can't still be on Monday or 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 you're not that far ahead. Like you're not on Thursday. So happy Wednesday, nonetheless. Uh, hopefully all is well for you. If it's hot in Brazil right now, you're staying cold. If it's cold in Brazil, which I highly doubt it, you're staying warm. Well, welcome aboard. Especially being new, wanting a weekend off. He said, forget about it. <laughs> forget. Forget about it. I know. I, it was wishful thinking, right? Like they gave me, like there was one. I think when my parents came to town, they, um, I just put in a request and they somehow granted it. And that was only with like a, a two-week notice. Like normally, I try to give every, you know, any employer, like don't matter if it's cash register or the airport, I try to give them like a month if I can. Right? Um, but that one they gave me off. This one I did definitely a month in advance, and they said, eh, no, nope. Especially on the this slowest day for us, Sarah, or, Sarah, Charlotte, where I am, uh, what is it, where I am, it was, Saturdays are always our slowest day, like I'm normally done with my flights at 6 o'clock, so I'll have my, have my, Ron, my, my first Washington and only Ron come in at about 6, and then from there, I do my run at about 6.30, 6.45, the and then I go inside and watch TV. Hold my phone, more than likely it's my phone. You gonna fly right now? Sweet, where are you flying to? Where are you gonna fly? 8,000, there it is. There's 10, I believe. Out, so we'll tune these back on. Cool. Look at that. See what I was talking about? Like how the looks like the light reflection from the ground. Awesome. 
awesome. So next is 6,000. How was your Friday? I hate it as a traveler, even in the morning. How was my Fridays? Uh, I hate it as a traveler. So Fridays, I don't know. Actually, come and think of it. Honestly, I don't work Friday, so I, I couldn't tell you. I work Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, I would assume Fridays is probably hell in a handbasket. Thousand to go. Yeah, nah, I don't know about Fridays. Sundays suck. Uh, Sundays are ruthless. Uh, Mondays and Tuesdays are, eh, they're all right. I mean, they're not, not too bad, but Sundays suck. Like, normally on Sundays, so I'll get my afternoon, evening schedule. And I think I have... Nope, don't have one. But normally I'll have, like, I'll be doing a flight when one will come in. So, like, say it's 4 o'clock the wa or the uh, MSP flight will come in 4:30 the Atlanta flight will come in the MSP flight will go out at, at like 5:25 and then the uh, Atlanta flight will go out at like 5:50 so it's like you literally bring one in offload it wait for your bags to come out go over to the other one park it offload it load one push it out come back load another one push it out and then you'll have like 30 40 minute break and then you do that same thing and then I go home but Saturdays, it's like, oh, I love it. I get to just watch my, I, I get a flight at about 4.10, get one at about 6 o'clock, and then I go home. checklist flight nav instruments verified cabin notification completed altimeters uh, whoops 2956 2956 cross check approach checklist complete turns 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 oh yeah dude he said not <laughs> da 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 I R I R O P days nah nah I don't I, I don't know I, I like it because it's like, eh, it just makes time go by. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it just makes time go by. I think it's it's fun. You know, I, I like it because I'm around the airplanes. You know, um, but to somebody who does isn't like us who does. Just, oh, it's a job. Like, oh, I might get free flight benefits out of it. Eh, so be it. But to us, it's like, ooh, airplane. Ooh, ooh airplane. Like, ooh, I'm gonna go touch it. Like to me, that's the fun part. So. I just I just do it. It pays well. I get I work four days, and um, yeah, hours aren't horrible. Kind of see the lights. Look at that. Look at that. Our, what do we have to be at for our Katrin? Katrin at 2,500. Okay. So Katrin is here. Um, maybe we'll go to. We want to be about 3,000 by there. So we'll go 6,000 here down to 3. And then through the turn, we'll get to 2,500. Because this one kind of looks a little past it. So through the turn and coming back, we'll get down to 2,500 on and in. That's, that'll be our plan. Uh, we'll start slowing down nicely. Watch the traffic, American 1259. We're going to be slowing down to speed 210 uh, for uh, watch the traffic. Or correction, we'll go to 220, 220 for uh, watch the traffic, American 1259. 220. Finally down in Denver after getting wind shear twice. Oh, disgusting. 
two go rounds and had to declare an emergency after having minimum fuel. But finally, there you go. Well, golly, welcome to Denver. Washington, Reagan traffic, Axiom 847, run 15 miles, final relay, 01 ILS, Reagan. There he goes. Should be over here, so, like in this, this ballpark. Can't see because there's a layer of cream cheese. If you're at a busy airport, oh, I bet. Like, what's I? But what is what is IROP? What is that? Maybe I know it. I've just never, never do the acronym. But what what is IROP? All right, three thousand. said and I forgot to open Volante. Bob Saget, right? Let's come down here. We'll go off the dead frequency. 109. 109.9. Cool. In sight. On the ground. Perfect. Alright, that'll help us out. So we should be right at about 3,000 there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. He said it wasn't light work. Nah, dude, you earned your paycheck there. Marcos. Hold on. Regular operation. Bad weather. Okay, gotcha. Bad weather. So we had... This was the first time I had one while working at Charlotte. Um, there was a ground stop in Charlotte for like s an hour, seven minutes, 67 minutes. And dude, let me tell you, the line that they had on the taxiway, ridiculous. Like, it was, I I've not seen a, a line that long, like, since pre-pandemic. Say again? What if I'm telling you, dude? I'm going to run you now. I'm going to be easy. You said running out of buff. There you go. All right, we'll, we'll wait till he passes our windows. Um, Thousand to go. Reagan traffic, American 1259 is going to be doing that left-hand turn to intercept Catron, 2500, speed 210, uh, Washington, Reagan traffic. All right, let's do that. Reagan traffic, Axiom 847, five mile, five mile, one way, zero one, Washington, Reagan. We'll slow down a little bit here. We'll do 190. That'll give us some space. We'll make the turn. There, there's, there's, the, there's the pool. Um, cool. Here we go. Well, it's going to be fun. Maybe my, this might be the night to use this bad boy. Oh, boy. That's some soup. That's some horrible weather, too. Oh, my, oh, my. Um... Thousand to go. All right, one ninety. Let's slow down. One eighty. Monitor vertical speed. Where is he? Get this back off. So we've got a low. Let's farm the approach. Woo! Uh, we'll go here. One fifty-five. All right. That's that's the reference. One five five. 
to go around to some people's future. Not nearly enough distance. I'm, I'm going to have to slow way, way down. He said, uh, while wow, those fogs are getting illuminated. That, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, X and Viral. Yep, 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 yep. 165 Sweet, he's off. have to keep an eye out. It's supposed to rain for the rest of the week out on the East Coast. Well, that sucks. I guess I'll have to move west. Darn, dude! Break traffic. Need five. Broke out the cloud level at 1,000. Dang. 1,000. Just for the light effects. <laughs> I mean, it, it's the light, it's the clouds, like, you know, it's the rain. It, it's a little, it's a good mix of everything. Um, especially the snow. That's one thing that's really cool is the snow. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think a lot of people um, kind of bashed it at first for the frames. And I understand that, like, but there are works around. Like, you don't have to have everything cranked up to max. Afraid to install it? Um, 2500. Give me a minute. Alright, here we go. I'll, I'll explain what I did. Sweet. Reagan traffic, American 1259, just out of uh, 2100 ILS 1 Washington traffic. Washington traffic, American 1259, about a yeah, about 10 mile final. We're slowing up to the final approach speed, 155. Washington traffic. Yeah, One eighty on your landing. I'll take that any day. Twice on Sundays. Phew. Uh, all right, landing checklist. Gear down. Uh, flaps. Thirty. Thirty. Green light. Speed brake is armed. And and to start switches. Continuous landing checklist complete. One thousand. One thousand feet. feet stabilized, Mr. Bridge altitude set. All right, give me a second, guys. Let me uh, at least make an attempt to land. When I do that, I'll get caught back up on the chat. And regular traffic, American 1259, about a three-mile final runway one, Washington traffic. All right, I th there's the runway right here, right off my, my cursor. There's our runway. We'll give it just a second here. For this landing, anything on the ground. 300 minimum.
20, 20, 10. This one. Oh, there we go. Oof. There we go. Just missed it, but I don't know where that. I didn't know where that person was behind me. Yes. Yeah, so. The local time is Good thing we got 9:20 p.m. and it's currently about 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until oh, the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign is turned off. Remember to use caution when opening the overhead bins, as items may have been shifted one. during the flight. Yeah. If this is your final I just wanted to get off. I knew this was us. something. If you're making a connection, so I encourage you to check your itinerary to ensure a smooth Stop. situation of your journey. There we, go. we apologize for the delay. Please delay. coordinate with airline staff as necessary regarding connecting flights or accommodations. Okay. Clean that up. Get right. off the runway. There he is. Perfect. We're going to go find our friends over here. Perfect, 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 perfect. I'll take that any day of the week and twice on Sunday. I'd even take that on a non-rainy day, man. Washington traffic, American 1259, clear of all the actives. Washington traffic. All right, so let's go here. Uh, let's go there. Let's stop the airplane. Clean up the airplane. Let's see. Here. Won't rush through it on this one. We'll go. I'll keep these on just for now. Um, now, if that's wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll just. I'm only keeping them on just for vis vis visibility. Um, you know, I don't know if it's simulated or not, but I'll keep them on. Just so that way, if, if you can see him on the network, you can hopefully see me and not ding up my nice airplane. And then I'll shut him off in a minute here. Uh, we'll go here. One, two, and three. And after landing checklist, engine start switches are off. Flaps are up. Speed brake is down. And radar is off after landing checklist complete. There he is. All right, let me catch up some chat here. Um looks crazy but dope yeah dude it was kind of spooky uh nice landing just recorded it awesome 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 long landing we i was i was getting to like that that pucker moment like where you know your cheeks start to pucker up and you you know go around getting there uh beautiful everyday landing appreciate it appreciate it. to learn and to use what you have learned now that is satisfactory it is I, I was very satisfied with that landing um you know, I know some people will look at it tonight, tomorrow, next month, ten years from now, and be like, you didn't butter it! That's horrible! Uh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, you do better. But, yeah, nah, I had a blast. Missed the, uh, the apex coming off the runway there? I did. I definitely did. <laughs> uh, let's see. Keep steady, logo, and turn off. Keep steady, logo, turn off, taxi. Steady, logo, turn off, taxi. Got it. Um, I will go in here. I'll just park next to these U.S. Airways airplanes. Uh, we'll go all the way down. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Runway 1, regular traffic. Man, as, as much as it would suck being a pilot right now, even worse is a ramper. Especially if you don't got your wet gear. That's even worse. Oh, I was that guy one time. Totally forgot to put on my wet gear. I knew the rain was coming. Didn't put it on. And then look at me. I said, well, sucks that I got to ride home in this.
we'll take the second one. Welcome. Dropped him in disc. Perfect. What's my FPS? Right now I'm sitting at about 30 inside uh, and about 40 outside. So 30 inside the plane. Um, and once again, that's with high settings and obviously, you know, X Enviro. Inside, 40 outside. Um, anytime I look around, um, here in Washington at least, there's 712, perfect. It's about 40. Um, if you ask me that same question, up in the sky, clouds above, clouds below, might be in the 40s, 50s, 60s. Uh, Tolis always seems to be my best airplane. Um, yeah. So there it is, mid, low to mid 40s right now on the ground in Washington. So not too bad, not too bad. All right, here we go. Since we're already late, we're right there. Welcome, guys, truly welcome. I had a blast, hope you guys did too. Uh, let's see what gets Ready reported. 169, I'll take that. Not bad, what are my settings? So for the sim, for when I'm streaming, and it's only this is only when I'm streaming, oh, my graphic settings, they're all about high. Uh, let me show you. Uh, graphic settings are right here. So I got my textures at medium, everything else like for visual effects are high. Um, texture quality, I, I run a Lewis script I run a Lewis script that kind of makes up for the, the lower settings. Um, and then I have this. I, I never, ever have turned this up. I, I've never seen a difference. I run this at 2 and this at 4. So try that for X and Viro. Um, because I stream on the same computer as I sim on, um, I turn it to medium. Or no, excuse me. I turn it to low. But when I'm not streaming, so when I go fly tomorrow, I'll turn it. Oops. I'll turn it like this. So on a non-stream, this is my settings. But because I stream, like I said, I stream on the same computer I sim on, my computer runs about 10 degrees hotter with the medium settings. Why? Couldn't tell you. Uh, it just does. So I said, you know what? If I can save 10 degrees on the computer, by all means. So uh, try medium. If, if that hurts too much, you know, crank them to low and then use the settings. This is, you know, if you like what you've seen on the stream, this is the settings. Uh, you can turn it up a little bit or turn it down a little bit depending on how you need it. But that that's what I have found works for me. Just for me. Flying my first leg, uh, landing though. <laughs> I know, dude. Have a great one. Have a great one. So, here we go, guys. Let's do this right quick. Uh, we'll, we'll run through the after, or the shutdown checklist. Uh, get everything ready to go. We'll put this plane to bed. We'll watch a replay and we will uh, get up out of here. How about that? Um, so we'll go here, here, here for now. Uh, we'll get you off and you off. Come up, you off. We'll go there, go there. We'll come down over yonder. We'll go there and we'll say it. Uh, shut down checklist. Park brake set. Fuel pump switches. One on. Uh, Seatbelt signs are off. Window heats off. Um, let's see. Pro heats are auto. Any ice is off. Uh, electric hydraulic pumps. So we want them all off. Okay, off. Um, excuse me. Uh, air conditioning panel is set. Anti-collision light is off. Engine start switches are cut off. TCAS is standby. Uh, engine or shutdown. Excuse me. Shutdown checklist is complete. Let's come over here. We'll get this plane fully ready for bed. Secure. Stab trim is fine. IRS modes are off. Um, so we'll go up here. You off. You off. Reagan traffic, Brickyard 4721, approach. Keep these on auto, sorry. Auto, off, trim air off, off. And uh, the engine bleed switches. Oh, okay, they keep theirs off. I thought it would have been off, sorry. The trim air is off, external is fine. Battery switch, ain't nothing more left to do than to go here there and the battery oh. secure 
checklist complete. There you go, 175, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, what kind of Lewis script do you have for textures? I, I will put it in the Discord. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the Discord. Wait a minute, my beacon switch don't work. Well, that sucks. Oh man, I flipped it on my, on my, uh, what you call it? My, what's this thing called? Honeycomb, my honeycomb, and it normally works, but I guess not this time. Yeah, huh, I don't know. Normally it works. Um, so, with that being said, if you guys are satisfied, I'm satisfied. Let's go to the hotel, shall we? Party! We'll file that. We've got a 169 that's getting reported. If we go to here, we'll check this. Uh, end the flight. 167, unexpected arrival delay. I didn't know we had a delay. Um, but, nonetheless, they were, ooh, 77% satisfied. I guess that's all right. Um, anything, anything below 75, chiefs, the chief pilot is going to call, and he's going to, like, dude, what the heck. Uh, but, nonetheless, for everybody that flew with me, I cannot thank you guys enough. Like, truly, this was a blast. Um, we'll have to do that more often. We'll, we'll set up something to do it, hey, Thursday. So if you guys aren't doing anything Thursday, tag along. It's going to be mayhem, but that's what we live for, right? Um, other than that, we'll go here. We'll check our final one. That's this one. Review the flight. And we'll watch some replays. We'll get up out of here. 169. I'm not mad at it. Uh, we'll go here. We're going to watch from the tower. We'll watch the breakout, too. We'll get some music from there. Cool. Music. Cue it. Ready, set, go. Great stream, as always, my man Wash. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. We did it. We hit 61 likes. Appreciate y'all, man. It's always a blast joining the hop. 